Hey, folks, here we are. We might be drunk. We're back. Good to be here. We got a hot guest. <laughs> What's up, boys? How we doing? Hey, I'll take it. Stop for us. I know you were going to fuck it. We were all just sitting here, no energy whatsoever. You just you just turned <laughs> on. Snapped you know? into it. <laughs> you got to bring it up, you know? It's a show. No, this is an exciting guest. <laughs> Stabby yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah. Stavros Hulk. That's is. right. New special on That's YouTube. Right. Crushing it. Two Thank million you. at this point. Who yeah. knows where it'll be when this comes out? Two million in two weeks. Feels good. That's Amazing, gotta be a record. Dude. Yeah. It might be a record. I, you hit Maybe. a million in four days. I was tracking it. Yeah, a million in four days. Yep, yep. And then, yeah. I mean, it's gone great. Like, I was wanting... I was like, let me just put... I mean, really, you guys are... Like, you are you guys started doing YouTube specials. I mean, I remember we were literally on this block. Do you remember? Because we were doing Pod Don't Lie on this block. You got a call. And I got a call that the, HBO, the HBO passed. passed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, I don't know, man. Maybe I'll go to YouTube. And you really didn't want to. And, like, it's turned out to be all of you guys doing and then me doing has turned out to be the best thing for our careers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah that weird? doing YouTube specials. So, yeah. Give it to the people. Or yeah. to anyone. Even now, it's like, you just have that link. You're just like... Totally. Here's a little link. Click Easy. it. And any asshole in the world can see it. You know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. Like, there's no blackouts. It's just, you know, people from fucking Denmark are like, this is a good special. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Right. So, Isn't that, that's the coolest part is you're like yeah. literally getting messages from people in like Poland who are yeah. like, I, I, you need to come to Poland. You're yeah. like, I won't, but <laughs> yeah. I appreciate the message. <laughs> yeah. Isn't Thank that the you. weirdest? When are you coming to Bangladesh? <laughs> I'm not. That's not going to happen. Do you get messages? Like we got, we, Norm and I get a ton of messages from India. Hell yeah. Huge you, in India. Really? Yeah. I don't know why India. India, but that we get a lot of you know the first when I had a lot of messages from India was the, the infancy of my uh Instagram where I was just fully nude and it was a bunch of it was a bunch of horny gay Indian men from India and it turns out even the gay the gay ones behave the same way as the straight ones where they were like they were like when come let me see penis you know and there was some guy literally uh, the first time I, I learned my lesson to never open a, a photo from an account I don't follow it was straight up a fucking Indian guy the resolution on the camera, it must have been like an Android from 10 years ago. Yeah. It's blurry. It's like, you know, he's in a fucking house with just exposed wires, just his dick fully out, beating off in like some shack in wherever the fuck he's from. Uh, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to fucking, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to skip opening these from now on. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to. But he sees those out, pictures uh, and he's like, dude, you were asking for it. Yeah. I mean, those, yeah, those that's poses. True. He did frame his cock in a way. It still haunts me, the like the fr the cinematography of that jack off video. Because it was like from underneath, so his dick looked way too big. It was like a, like a like a like a blimp coming into frame slowly. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I love the guy without running water, but he has Wi-Fi. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Getting his dick out. I got priorities. That is that awesome. is disturbing so, yeah. to get. That is yeah, disturbing oh, yeah. to get. I mean, I videos. thought it was honestly one of the funniest things that's ever happened to yeah. me. I'm like, this is wild. You don't get some dicks? guy is getting. I don't horny. get really dicks. Oh wow, you're you're big in gay Instagram. Huge in the gay. <laughs> <laughs> Mateo will send me links. He's like, it's a me and you, neck and neck, and hot as gay. I'm like, what wow. the fuck? Well, you're, you're in good company. He's shredded. <laughs> He's shredded. He's so much yeah. hotter. You, yeah. Mark has also posted a lot of shirtless pics, though. Mm. That is, that's I do that. one a year. One a year. Yeah, I don't want to be that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you do, yeah, one a year is enough. Yeah. Because in like yeah. three or four years, there's going to be a few of them. True. I mean, you, you get messages for sure. Oh, the gays. <laughs> and you, you feel like how a woman would feel. You're like, oh, I get it. This is like a lot. Right. <laughs> there's a lot of dicks. Absolutely. I get, I'll get messages. Messages from gay guys sometimes, but it's never. A, I never get a dick. Mm. Uh, I'll send you some of mine. They're, yeah, they're, they're, they're respectful with you. You put out a much more. We're we're a couple sluts. <laughs> <laughs> they, they come in cocks blazing with me and Mark, but you, they're like, I gotta chat him up, see what, how his day was. You take, know? Me yeah. to, take me to dinner, dude. Yeah. 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 See what happens. The yeah. weird thing is, you get enough dicks and you start like comparing. You're like, yeah. well, this one, it's like baseball cards. Like, well, this guy's got girl. He's got length. Uh, he's uncircumcised. Yeah. Damn. Can't help but um, of rate. Course. Of course, of course. Should we get a drink in here? Ooh. Let's get a damn Beer drink. Beer Jew left, so now we have McCoy. I guess what's your what's your bar name gonna be? A koi. Uh, okay. Chips a koi. Yeah. Chips a koi. Chips a koi. Let's do it. We got beer balanced, so we got a yuzu rosemary lemonade. Ooh. Yuzu. Ooh. I think it's a green thing. I don't know. Yuzu. Do you mean uzo? Uzo. Yeah. Uzo. <laughs> yeah. 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 This is our backup bartender. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, dude. We got JV. Twink. We got JV coming in. Well, this is a oh, Greek yeah. episode here. I mean, we I got love the flag. It. We got Thank the, you. I do. I. By the way. Hugely appreciate the layout very much. You becoming beautiful. the most prominent uh, Greek. I'm ho you know I'm Stamos here I come motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Giannis is out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Giannis, we love you. This is, doesn't have to be a competition. Cheers. Cheers. Hey, hey, Cheers. Opa. Over. Get in here. Opa. There we go. I'll break some. I'll f I'm going to smash this right after I drink it. <laughs> <laughs> mm. That's really good. Oh, hell yeah, Whoa. dude. You know, this is really... Yeah, Uzo's good. This is a uh, Chip Sequoia. I like what you did here because Uzo usually... The only way I've ever had it is straight up like uh, like with water. Like that's usually what... Because it's pretty... It's a little sweet to begin with, but I've never had a cocktail with it and this shit fucking rocks. What is great. it? Uzo's like... A, it's like a... Like a liqueur? Liqueur? Yeah, but it's like... It's like Like from, limoncello or something? No, it's like it's it's like some kind of like not mint exactly, like some kind of like gummy. I don't know what's the. Let's see here, like a gelatin, anise flavored. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. I don't know what it is, and it gets cloudy you, when you put a little water in it. It gets cloudy. It's yeah. pretty fucking. It's sweet on its own. Uh -huh. So this is fucking sick. This is amazing. What's mm -hmm. the liquor in here? Uzo, that's the liquor. Oh, it is a liquor. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is damn good. Yeah, this is fucking delicious. You've been to Greece a bunch. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I, dude, I wanted to go this because, like, so I fit, so <laughs> literally, even though this is like, this will be recorded, this will be released in the future, I just wrapped up a fucking, you know, nine month tour. And wow. it's, it's been fucking wild. And it's like my first time just completely road dogging it. I mean, this, after the fucking pandemic, I was like, I have to make up a year's worth of money. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I was like, I was like, and just, I want to grow as a comic and I was planning on shooting something. So I was just like, once we were open, I was like, fuck it. I'm like, I'm not taking any time off. I'm going to go balls to the wall. So I, uh, you're, you're the only two people that I'm about to, because like, when I say that, people are like, wow, that's crazy. And you guys are, oh, yeah, you were just doing comedy. That's uh, what it is to you, two assholes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you were desperately trying to fill the different holes in your in your souls with stand-up. Yeah, you got that right. <laughs> and it's but, never going to be full. It's no, really, no, no. It doesn't. You this, always... this is not the solution. <laughs> I, don't know many, I don't know how many times I've had to tell Sam specifically. Mark, Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Self, booze. <laughs> You're right. The combo of comedy and booze. <laughs> Maybe after this glass. Hold yeah. on. But anyway, I really wanted to go to Greece, but dude, it's just all that fucking travel. Like I was, I was coming back from a, a, an LA flight, and I was like, I have to do something twice as long as this Oof. to go relax for a week. Exactly. And it's like, so I think this year I'm just gonna fucking keep it local. I might go to some fucking, I might go to fucking Ocean City, Maryland, baby. Yeah. ACMD. You know? I'm, do, I'm doing like Hudson Valley. I'm doing yeah. like I do Rhinebeck. Maybe like, the that's fucking all Hamptons. Go Maybe we'll go. With some, what's up Should with Seinfeld? Can we, get it, can we use his house? <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> we can use it. Tim Dillon just bought a house <laughs> yeah, out there. Yeah, that I saw that. It's hilarious yeah, yeah. that I saw that on the New York Post. Hilarious. Really? Yeah. Wow. It was a like New York Post Twitter. He said he's, I, I don't want to blow his shit up. He said he might have a party soon. So That's what I heard. We might, we might be over there, boys. That's, That's pretty what cool. I heard. <laughs> Although, when, when is it? A weekend? Like, we're all. Of course, it's going to be a fucking weekend, knowing Tim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to yeah. make you cancel something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like the road. Though. Did you, did you uh, tape it? You taped it at the beginning of the tour, though, right? I taped it in the middle. In the middle. So, right. I didn't, going into the tour, I wasn't exactly sure. Because it's also, you know. You're rusty. You don't know what the fuck's going to happen. So I was like, fuck, it might take me a year to remember how to do stand-up. So I booked this fucking, like, almost year-long tour. And I also just wanted to hit every major market that I hadn't been in. And then it was like, I was like, oh, fuck. Like, within two months, I was like, oh, wait, no, I, I can do stand-up again. Like, yeah, honestly, yeah. it was. It took, like, a month to really feel like you were there. Right. And then it took another month to kind of get the material into shape. And I was like, fuck, this is, like... Uh, and this is too long. Like, I was going to initially record at the end of the tour. I was like, fuck that. So I was like, literally, I just, I was like, can we just do it, like, now? Can we do it in, like, December? And so I recorded in December. In L.A., and, right? In L.A. Mm. And because um, I like the Lodge LA? Room. A couple reasons. I really like the Lodge Room. It has, like, that old Masonic, yes. like, temple. It was used to be a Masonic temple. And it was like, so it fucking felt cool. Felt No one had shot a special there. Mm. I mean, Comedy Central swagger jacked me after I shot mine. They released one of those, like, uh, one of those, mean? like... Uh, they just stole... You know, they just, like... they. they I'm joking, but they, they started shooting... They shot something where it was, like... Those like five minute sets they shot oh. it there. Oh. I was like, oh come on, you motherfuckers! The whole point was no one else had shot anything. Yeah, well, and in between, I know, I nobody know. sees that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. We're such anyway. idiots too that we get mad. Well, I'm just like, it's people are gonna. I, I remember of I did that with like the Dan. I was like, I was like, no one's doing the Dan. Then I immediately got a call like two other people are beating you to it. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Gives yeah. a shit. But anyway, so I did it for that, and also like for fucking cost measures, right? Like. You guys shot your own fucking specials. This shit fucking, it's up to, so I wanted to get, I wanted to look great 
And if you're in LA and you do, and it was a fucking Monday. So it's like LA, a Monday, you can get a crew that's just like not doing shit. And it's like, hey, will you work for a quarter what you're worth because it's a fucking Monday, half half day of work? And it'll be really cool. And it's like, so we convinced a great crew to do it. And yeah, that was the thing because it's like, you can't fucking come through with the same shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it had to look a little better than right. the ones that were already out because right. the novelty was kind of gone. So you wanted, and that was always my thing. I was like, this is on YouTube, but it's as good as anything on HBO. It's as good as anything right. on Netflix. Yeah. So we're going to make it look like that. So yeah. it had to be LA or else flying out a fucking top tier crew to do the kind of show I got would have probably cost me like 80 grand so yeah. for some random, you know, city. So it looked great. It, it's a Thanks, killer man. special. And uh, that fucking thumbnail. You can't not click on it. You see that mug on that thumbnail? Yeah. You gotta click. The outfit is perfect. Perfect. Thank you, thank Leopard you, print. You. Someone pointed out. Uh oh, time to suck Mark off. <laughs> <laughs> he was very clear about what the beep means. <laughs> um, somebody pointed out after the fact. I did not realize this at all. They were like, "He's dressed exactly like Ali Wong." <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Without even realizing it, I completely stole. Ah. I'm talking about people stealing from me. I completely stole her whole vibe and the pregnant and the, and the butt and the stomach. Yeah. Adult cobra. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's hilarious. Dude. Dude, Ellie yeah. Wong. Yeah. Oh Shout my god. Damn. That's yeah. The perfect. first one. The first one. It's exactly. The same. Yep. Holy <laughs> Those up. Matt, Same you glasses those side by side. We, we gotta send that to Ali. <laughs> yeah. Damn, that's, amazing, that's what the, the internet is undefeated with shit like oh that. Oh my god, they always catch. So everything. people pointed that out to you. So, yeah, somebody, you know, some comment or something. Which I have, I have cool. I broke my. I won't read the comments thing for the beginning because I was like, let's just make sure. Yeah. Was, you know, you're just. And now I'm back to not doing it, but you know, because and also the ones in the beginning are so positive. They're, they're there yeah. for the first night, exactly, exactly. No, no one's like meh. Yeah, night yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, wow, yeah, yeah. wait till you read mine. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no. but no, yeah, the comments are great. The specials great. Not, it's it's thanks, always man. tough too because I talk to the YouTube guy when I put one out, and you have to watch a certain amount to get a view. Yeah, and so that means people are watching yeah, the yeah, majority yeah. of it, which no, is the, rare. Yeah, no, it's crazy. Like. Because I've been, I've been doing a lot of shit on YouTube recently. I mean, that's helped me pop a little bit. We're just putting the short videos there. So I've gotten to learn about that shit. And it's like, yeah, you look at it and it's like people, the average is 20 minutes, which is insane for a wow. YouTube video. Insane. Like no one watches a fuck. I mean, I know it's an hour, but it's like 20 minutes is fucking But it's free also and it's quality. That's the thing. Yeah, it's like, right. I'll re- I'll, I'll, I will still rent a movie if yeah. it's, if it's yeah. like a good looking movie. Totally. But uh, a, a good free special. All you need is a friend to be like, you got to watch right. this. Like, why not? We, exactly. Why not? Might as well. And I think once, like, you have this thing, or I don't know if I was supposed to say, but, like, once you put this out and people see the progress and the success, you'll never have to do another one. Yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, they're going to yeah, come yeah, calling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how they were. Like, uh, my agent and my manager just, you know, we had the same agent. She got fired. I had a manager. He left the business. But because of my special. Yeah. They left. They left yeah. the business. <laughs> they were like, people like it, but we don't understand yeah. it. And we're going to leave. But because I had the special with a bunch yeah. of views on it, yeah. I had new people scoop me up. Right, so it was right, like the right. best thing that ever happened to me. Yeah. Some guy tried to fucking, some guy Poach? I never met tried to just, he just showed up in a green room and was like, hey. And it's like, I have an agent. <laughs> like, like, That's old like, school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had yeah, a guy yeah, do that yeah. to me and we shook hands and as we shook hands, there was a pinky ring and I was like, nah. No. <laughs> well, Can't no. be a manager with a pinky ring or a ponytail. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pick no. one. Hold on, Sam. All right. I don't come on here and start uh, saying anti-Semitic things. Do I? <laughs> I said manager. You can be a, you can yeah. be a regular dude. <laughs> You're attacking my entire ethos right now. Pinky rings and ponytails. <laughs> ethos, another Greek word. Yeah. <laughs> We get it. <laughs> I love the idea of the guy coming in the green room because, you know, he was all day. He was like, here we go, yeah. baby. Cologne. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Putting on my best shirt. I'm going to scoop this guy up. Yeah, I got him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then so you're funny. like, can you get out? I'm like, I'm just, just I'm here with my friends. I, you know, it was, it was a bad hang. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like, I also just, just showing up in a green room is brutal because it's just like. It's a lot. I just need. It's a, it was a small green room. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like there's not enough space. And now we got to make small talk just for fucking the hang up. Yeah. I would be annoyed, let alone exactly. you know, everything else. But. I did that when I was a young comic. I did that to a big comic. I was friends with his opener. Mm. And he's like, oh, you want to come hang out in the green room? And I was like, do I? And I went in, and I was couldn't believe how cold 
the headliner was to me, and now I totally get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, Absolutely. I was like, what a, what and now you're actually friends with Rob Schneider. So. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think Push Deuce Bigelow 3? <laughs> uh, yeah. But no, now I get it. But at oh, the time, totally. I was like, what? This guy's mean. Yeah, yeah, So yeah, I, yeah. I can see it from both just, sides now. They're just now. tired. They're tired. And they're like, Tired what? is tired. really it, dude. Why yeah. do I have to entertain you? Because yeah, you yeah, came yeah. in here. I got to entertain you. Yeah, I'm at work. Yeah. Please get, yeah, I fully... Totally. And that was the thing. I was just tired of doing stand up by the end of this tour where I was just like, I love it. It's fun. You know, I like it was is important for me to get the skeleton of a new hour down. Yeah. And I have like 45. It's not obviously I'm not recording it tomorrow. It's not ready. But it's like, you know, I think when it all is said and done, it's probably a really, really good half hour in there somewhere. That's killer already. Like, you know, you got to you got to fucking figure it out from there. But yeah, that was the thing where I was like, if anybody. By the end, dude, I can also see how people become entourage guys. I'm totally in there where it's like I brought a friend to sell merch just to hang. Eldis? You know? Yeah. Eldis, my boy. Shout out to Eldis. Um, yeah, he's out there. We, I brought Sally Q's with me to do on uh, – and it was just – Everyone so they kind of take the shape of entourage. He's drama. Sally yeah. Q's is turtle. <laughs> yeah, You're kind yeah. of like, Jesus. <laughs> so I get it, dude. I fully I fully get my My dream is uh. to just travel everywhere with – Four men in track suits. <laughs> you know what I mean? We all it's matching fun. track it makes suits. The, so you say, well, like, why do you do the road? First off, I love it. Second off, I bring Gary Vito with me. Yes. I, James Webb has been coming James with me. James Rules. I just, I have like a cool crew. Yeah. It's, I love it. So yeah. yeah. It's yeah. tough. And, and you can't gamble out there with these local, like local oh, openers. Truly, it's, truly. It's tough. I had a funny yeah. guy in Tampa, though, Christoph Jean. He was, uh, Jean. He was uh, really funny. Every now and then you get a, a diamond in yeah. the rough. Totally. It's rare. But then even it's just like, it's kind of like we were talking, I think, a little bit before the show. I, I was I feel like so much of our lives are podcasting that it's hard to remember what was said on mic and what wasn't. But sure. but it's like, you also just want to get the right type of opener, too. You yeah. Know? It's like, like, sometimes a club, like, if it's funny when people don't really understand how to book things. And it's like, oh, I know who you'll love. Like, some, you're going to love your opener. He's he's exactly like you. Right. He's some fat guy that talks about his little dick. Just, <laughs> just you know, less accomplished with w less good jokes. You know what I mean? And it's just like, and it's like he's a cool guy. I like him and I see what he's yeah. like. He he's, might even be me right. 10 years ago. Yes, you know what I mean? yes. But I don't want me 10 years ago opening for me. You know, right. I want like a, like, a, like a lesbian housewife. Someone who I have nothing yeah, in common with. Right, you know what I right. mean? Like someone who has a completely different perspective on things. So, so that's why when you bring your friend and it's just like you know it's just fun to have you guarantee you know what you're walking into you know you get you, after, need, you need a different opener after, I, I, yeah. I've had that too where I show up and it's like a tall dude with one eyebrow yeah, he's yeah, doing yeah, dead yeah. baby jokes I'm like come on <laughs> and it's like just it's just they're just watching a worse version of you. Right, you know what I mean? Where right. it's like, that's not how you want to get, like, if you were about to eat a, like, a perfect, like, you know, perfectly cooked rare steak, you wouldn't want somebody just throwing you some fucking steakums right before. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're like, oh, I'll have a deviled egg. I'll have a scallop. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, yes. you know, you, you don't want a shittier, so anyway. And, and but, not only is it a shittier version, but they're stepping on all, all your, your subjects. Premises, all, all your All your premises. premises. So you're like, fuck, yeah. now I can't do mine because it looks shitty tacked on after It doesn't his. mean we don't think they're funny, too. It's just you don't want them on your show. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why that's the lessons you learn when you start headlining and you look back, kind of what you said with the green room. I owe so much to Bobby Kelly because the fact that he had some little fat kid doing oh, just shittier right. fat jokes than his <laughs> fat jokes. It's like I don't like I, I'm gonna kiss him on the lips, dude. I could say the know? same about David Tell. A hundred percent. No, <laughs> literally. Both when, of us. when you said like yeah. you just want a shittier version opening, the first yeah. thing I said was like I used to open for David yeah, Tell. Yeah, dude. Both of us. <laughs> <laughs> we were both just worse versions of the guys who brought us on. I so they're better people than us. Yeah. Oh yeah. I can say the oh, same yeah. thing about Amy Schumer. Yeah. <laughs> no, wait, wait, no, never mind. <laughs> I'd suck dick, and you know. <laughs> dude, uh, that's yeah, that's great. Though. What were the what were the best cities for you? Um, um, you know, I don't know. I liked I liked Portland a lot. Honestly, I liked the. Uh, I love it, Portland. Yeah, it's great. You know, the why food is it such a bad rep? Though? I feel like a lot of comics shit on it. I, think, I like it too. I think if they shit on it, people can can really be like, if you're just looking at it from like a news per like perspective, and they're like, oh, it's all the fucking hipsters. Antifa and and it's Proud Boys and hipsters, and it's like, yeah, those exist, but it's like it's a fucking cool city. Everyone is just kind of like it is a little wild. It is a little like all the strip clubs, all the like. Did it's you a them? decadent city. Did I you? didn't. I didn't. Because it's, like, it's like the most strip clubs in the country. I think. I right? had just come back from Greece. Actually, that was that was the first one of the tour. It's so I don't know if this ever happens to you guys. I feel like this happened to me the last two tours. Where last tour, you know, years ago, I started in Chicago. Shows were unbelievable. Love I was Chicago. Like, I was like, this tour is going to be the best one. And then 
eight duds in a row. Uh, and then that's exactly what happened. Portland was fucking unbelievable. Like, I'm like, I had just come back from vacation. It was the pandemic. I was worried. The shows couldn't have been better. And I'm like, this is going to be fucking, I'm the king of comedy. You know what yeah, I mean? I'm yeah. fucking Bernie Mac. And then and then I go to, you know, Seattle. Shows are like, whatever. You know what I mean? I go, <laughs> I go to fucking, you know, I don't remember Tampa. You know what I mean? It's like good shows, some good shows, some bad shows. It's just like you start with those like just crushing weekends and you think you're in for it for good. And then, you know, you so just hit true. a Friday late show at a fucking, and it's like, or, or what started happening to me is the Saturday late shows used to be the funnest. And now it's like, they're too fucked up. They and flip. You, yeah. The yeah. early show's way better yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So true. But markets, when you get more into comedy, you're like, man, markets are important. Yeah. You used to be like, oh, I'll go to any city. I'll make them laugh. But I'll sell out here, and then I'll go to Alabama. I just hit Huntsville. And it's like, yeah, it's a little light out there. <laughs> yeah, you're like, yeah. oh, I forgot about light out there. Like, you <laughs> right, don't hear right, that anymore. Right, right, that right, happened right, to me right, there, right. too. That's a tough spot. That's a yeah, tough spot. That's a tough yeah. spot. They also um, did not, they were not down with me making fun of the, the Nazi who they named the museum after. <laughs> Oh, Braun. Yeah, Von Braun. I think Braun. I thought you, had, you have to joke about Braun. Yeah, yeah they were too. just like, absolutely not. I'm like, you got to at least let me make jokes about it. No, so no. Like, nah. They named the synagogue after that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's name was on everything. <laughs> it really is. It's that's everywhere. so fucking wild, dude. That's <laughs> just a Nazi. Dude, that's the liberal part of yeah. Alabama. And they're like, we named a museum after a former Nazi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said he was sorry. <laughs> what do you people want? <laughs> you got Israel and you got an apology <laughs> can we call it even <laughs> yeah that was a, that was a tough one but uh, yeah i mean yeah. i really i mean i like pretty much you know i just like the fucking places you'd think i'd like you know Same. like like you know portland is just, like anywhere where there's good food and it's just like kind of a fucking like a place for adults behaving like children you know what i mean yes. it's like you're gonna get you know you're weed gonna, we booze, girls bars, are ready food. girls are gonna fuck for no you know like right. easily <laughs> portland's so sick for that reason you know yeah. what i mean like yeah uh, austin even though austin's yeah. gotten a little bit too like scene too, exactly exactly but like you know i love that atlanta was fucking cool atlanta's great um but also dude the, the reality is i really enjoyed the the first half of the tour and then it just starts to fucking you got burned out. You. I just got burned out. Like I was going. You party on the road, fucking though, right? Wild. In the in the beginning, I did. Yeah. As and not only party like in Portland. The reason I loved it so much because it was almost like a vacation where I was like, I'm taking in the fucking. I'm going on little hikes. I'm going to the Rose Garden. I'm going wow. to the like Japanese tea garden. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I'm seeing cool shit. I'm I'm eating at a, at a Thai at a like renowned Thai restaurant. I'm doing. I have like a full day's worth of activities, and it's like if you do that for more than like four weeks, you're just like fucking tired you can't yeah. do it like this philadelphia i was in my bed for 12 like i'm just like the show is at 7 or 7 30 and it's like all right well i'll get breakfast yeah i wake up at 1 p.m <laughs> yep. i get breakfast at a diner i go back into my bed until seven until 6 50 <laughs> i get there as jp is halfway into a set i do the first one i lay on the couch i lay on the couch between eat a chicken a comedy club chicken yeah. i'm like oh i don't want to do this fucking show I just picture a waitress feeding you grapes yeah, yeah. And fanning you with a big leaf. so i was yeah i completely depleted my health bar right in, in the first two months of the tour where it was just like how much more of this can i fucking do where i wasn't even trying to get pussy that's when you know I'm depressed. <laughs> Where it's like girls are in my DMs like, do you want to come to a bar? I'm like, a bar? <laughs> Even women, you want delivery? Yeah. You're like, I don't want to get takeout. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it is a lot of work yeah. after a yeah, while. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I, I do it with Gary Veter, who's a father, and you know he wakes up at like, 7 30 8 a.m yeah. so i wake up the text like 8 a.m he's already been to the gym he's like breakfast another a question mark at like 9 30 breakfast yeah then at like 11 a.m he's like i'm starving i'm like <laughs> get something to eat i'll meet you for lunch you're killing me he works out every day i mean he's on he's it shredded. That that's my that's my so the, the big reason i want to take a bunch of time off and i'm taking the whole summer off is like i gained like probably like i lost much weight during the pandemic because it was like comedy was gone i had nothing to focus on and then i gained it all back just fucking go having a good time on the road and i just want to get healthier but i also just want to get like habits where it's like all right man i need to live like that on the road you right know what I, mean? I need it's gotta because this is our lives like i know there's a, I, this year it was when i was like i had a big realization where i was like there well there's no more when i grow up 
Mm. I'm 33. Mm. True, <laughs> you know what I mean? True. I'm a th- this is it. Like, I'm not <laughs> like, if I don't start doing some shit now, there's no, well, in 10 years I can, no. You know what I mean? You can't live, You I could not live the way I live this year 10 times in no. a row. That would be fucking wild. We just so, had Segura on here and he was talking about bring. he brings a trainer on the road yeah. with him. Yeah, and it's like well, he's on a, he's on a fucking private jet too. I know, but you I'm know just saying. I mean? But you yeah, see how yeah. like a guy that's successful lives that way, and it's like we. You, it's a wake up call for all of us because like, like you know, Mark and I. It's no secret we still drink a yeah, good amount. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, like this. Yeah. This does take a toll. Oh my god. At a certain point, I, but, I'm just less of a booze guy, more of a weed guy. That's so, better. So you know, that's better. I mean, it's but but I still drink and I still get hot. But it's like I gotta. But that's the Philly. Which, literally, which I took so many. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are great. I'm literally gonna get fucked up. Uh, <laughs> in, you got to try Bodega Cat at some point. I will. Whiskey. Oh yeah, so good. Um, yeah, dude, it was like that Philly. I literally. The, so the one o'clock was when I wasn't high. I was. I slept till. I, I looked at my fucking phone. It was three p.m. I was Ooh, like, what? That's not good. <laughs> I was like, that's not and it good. wasn't one of those like wake up early, in and out. It was like my first memory of that day happened at three o'clock. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. It was like school drifting. is out. <laughs> yeah, they had yeah, a full yeah. day of school. These kids, and you're like, ah, you better yeah. get out of bed. School is out. Yeah, it's yeah, fucking yeah, brutal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. but it's I'm true. sorry, I cut you off too. Yeah. What were you saying? No, about? I, I was just gonna. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh, oh, Segura. You know, with the personal trainer, he does the piano lessons. He plays with his kids. He does four podcasts. Then he gets in a PJ and yeah. goes to Denver and does an arena, and then he writes a book. Yeah, <laughs> he wrote a fucking book, and I'm like, I get it. You're the man. You're, yeah. you, he makes millions and millions of dollars a year. He's hilarious. He's awesome. Cool guy. I'd rather have a little edge. Yeah, I know I'd rather mean. part. I'd rather have some memories, some crazy stories. I'd rather have a hangover every now and then and eat some chicken fingers sure. and you know fuck my girl in the bathroom of the green room. Yeah, are you doing that? Oh, yeah. You fuck her in the green room bathroom? Sure. You don't have a pre-show ritual? <laughs> yeah, I jerk off in the uh, bathroom. Okay. I don't... Well, either way. I have the same one. I fuck his girl in the green room bathroom, too. <laughs> and I jerk off to it. <laughs> that's, uh, that's awesome. Oh, yeah. yeah it's fun. Don't go to Gotham. I used to know Gotham. <laughs> oh, yeah. First um, time I headlined it. Also, though, like, he's also in a different part of his life, though, too. You know what I mean? Where he's 40-something. Like, like, that... I could see that. Like, and that's kind of what I'm realizing is like, all right, let's start. Uh, listen, I'm not done getting fucked up on the road. So, but it's like, it's kind of the way, like, that's how I start. I stopped drinking because I was like, like this much where I was like, and now it's like, all right, when I'm getting fucked up, I'm getting fucked up. Yeah. It's like for a reason. It's like, a, you know, I'm getting right. crabs and I'm drinking 12 beers. It's my brother's wedding. I'm getting fucked yes. up. You know, so it's, it's gotta like, be a reason. Exactly. So it's like, it's like, Thank we got to look at these weekends more as just work. And then it's like, all right, if it's a special thing, if You're it's right. an anniversary of something, if it's a great city, You're if right. I have friends coming out, You're whatever, right. then let's let our hair down. You can't eat ice cream every day. Exactly. I yeah. hear boy, you. Boy, oh boy, am I doing it both li- me- metaphorically and <laughs> 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 What's your brand for ice cream? I'm a Ben & Jerry's guy. Ah. What, what's your favorite flavors? Um, I like to get some kind of fucking peanut butter... Chocolate, peanut butter, element in the mix, chubby hub, and pretzel. I love pretzel. Pretzel is huge. They go a little too heavy on the pretzel, in my opinion, Agreed. with chubby hubby, but it's close. And they have a new one, Netflix and Chilled. I don't know if you're familiar. Is with that this good? One. No. That one is kind of exactly what we're talking about here, where it's like a little. It's like basically the same thing, but with a better combination, a better ratio, in my opinion. Interesting. Um, it's very good. Ben and Jerry. I, I love a little Cherry Garcia, man. But I've also been oh yeah that's a classic. classic. I've also been doing that like another fat guy move where I've I've switched to non dairy ice creams to like pretend I'm doing something healthy <laughs> where it's like it's a complete lateral move calorically but I'm like well it won't hurt my stomach. <laughs> I know? tried it. They, I didn't think they were good. I tried the non dairy. The oat milk is kind of can be good. Oat milk. Oh, oat milk. Oh, cashew right. milk. You got to oh, try really? cashew milk is good. Really? Yeah. I mean, it's, I, I don't think it's yeah. a health almond difference. Is but not, it's, uh, almond is not the one you want to go. Structurally, okay. it no. falls apart. It's, it's too thin. Absolutely. Terrible. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I'm yeah. learning. Yes, absolutely. I'd love to give you. We could. This could become an ice cream pod. Easy. We could do Rogan hours. What, if, what if are, we talk about ice cream? What, what are some no nos for ice cream other than that? Do you fuck with like even the health? Do you try like the Halo tops? Ever? I try it. You know, it's just it's got to have a good consistency. Some of the candy bar one is okay. It's just there's some. You know, I'll do. I like to just. I like to. I like to go high end like a Van Leeuwen. I do Love Van Leeuwen. Van Leeuwen. All the they time. Have They're a, vegans. They are have good. a great vegan one. They do um, have a great vegan. 
you know, co- like it's funny because it's like in my head when I'm being when I'm being responsible, it's like, well, I'll, I'll only get an ice cream cone. Yeah, it's, just not, it's yeah. not a whole right. it's not a whole fucking thing. So I'm in the fucking ice cream aisle. Oh sur- uh, yeah, constantly. we tried the mac and cheese on here. It was okay. I'm sure, it's fine. It's yeah. too much. It's too much. I, yeah. You know what I love? The honeycomb is amazing. Mm-hmm. Honeycomb's their their staple. Uh, they got a I, chocolate chip peanut butter. That's I pretty just solid fucked too. up. I just fucked up a nice a nice ice cream cone of Van Leeuwen. There was one right by where I was staying in uh, in Philly. Shout out to Helium, by the way. Great club. Great, Great club. club. And it was a nice one to end on because it's like yes, you don't have to do too much work. You're right. There's only hot. two shows. The Saturday shows actually were the worst ones of the weekend, if you can believe it. Huh. I can believe through it. Sunday. It's date night. Yeah. So the regular people come out. They buy yeah. tickets. And you're like, you don't a hot get night. my. Thursday was incredible, and they used to be it used to always be the worst show because no one knows who the fuck you are. Yeah, so whoever shows up on Thursday is a fucking asshole. Right. But now they really want to see you. If you exactly. Come on Thursday, so what's that? Judy's? Is it Judy's ice cream? Yes. Or is it? Is that? Is that the right one? Or, or... Jenny's. Jenny's. Jenny's is Jenny's killer. doesn't fuck That's around. That's a good one. You know who else? Send us some Jenny's, will you, Jenny? Jenny's is fucking killer. And then also the milk bar. Milk You're fuck with the milk. Oh, the, the place in like New York. cereal milk. Yeah, the, yeah, cereal milk. I love. cereal We did a milk. shamrock shake on this ep- on wow. one of our episodes. I've never felt an grosser. alcoholic. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I hate that. Brutal. Shout out to Jamie. I used to do that. In, I used to do that in college and just throw up every time. Mm-hmm. It was one of those where you would you would party. You'd be like, yeah, this is awesome. I, and then I would quiet. I would I would walk outside and I would projectile vomit in the neighbor's yard. And I would come back as if it never happened. Like, yeah. let's go. <laughs> <You> know, like, <laughs> Dude, I love one of my favorite jokes of yours is the the cannonball joke. Oh yeah. <laughs> and it was like well, one of the trailers for your special. It's such a good joke. Thanks, that, how you like is, as a, as a bigger guy. You're like, you think I only want to do cannonballs? <laughs> yeah, yeah, It's yeah. such ah, a fucking great. The bit. expectations. Yeah. Yes, yes, absolutely. The expectations of a big guy. And there's a lot of tags that I cut out out of that where it was like you know you know i want to see what the top of the human pyramid's like <laughs> let me breathe let me breathe that what's the air up there like you know what i mean where i'm tired of chugging all my liquids you know because that was totally in college it's like big fat guy come on funny fat guy in college everyone wants you to chug yeah everyone wants you to do keg stands you know right. what i mean and i totally did it um <laughs> well we seen the movies yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. what's yeah. that guy's name in varsity blues piggy of or, course of what, course what's this, the bruno no not bruno what's that? the varsity blues Guy, I don't the fat know. One. One wearing pig 69. pen or something? No, not no, pig what pen. What is it? The big fat guy that was wearing 69. He died. Billy I think. Bob. Billy, Billy Bob. Bob. That's it. Varsity Blues was fun. Yeah. Oh, I loved it. Yeah. I don't want your life. <laughs> John Voight. <laughs> yes. It's just awesome to see John Voight in a, in a performance like that. <laughs> Ron Lester and morbid obesity. Oh, did he lose it? Oh, oh shit. shit. Same with that guy, Ethan Suppley. He's oh, Jack, dude. too. I he know. Rules. He's fucking yeah. cool as shit. Cool guy, yeah. Mallrats, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, that guy's got an ins- Ethan's got an insane... Like, he's worked with everybody. American History X. American History X. I mean, fucking Wolf of Wall Street. My name he's is He's worked Earl. with everybody. That's yeah. when he was thin in My Wolf name, of Wall Street. Yeah, yeah. But it's like his career has been... He's, he's worked with pretty much anyone you'd fucking Damn, want to. Damn, he was so big. He, yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah, he fucking rules. He's a cool dude. Good Wolf of Wall him. Street's so fun. I love that movie. Yeah, oh, it's the fucking it's best. It's so fun. And it's we, the fucking best. We know a couple of people in it. Henry Zabrowski's in it. Barry Rothbart's in it. There's a couple of comics oh, in yeah. there. Yeah, Barry Rothbart's just dancing throughout the whole movie. I it's know. like that's that's what a fun role. Wasn't DeRosa in it for a sec too? Nah. Joe DeRosa? I feel like he was like in the background or something. I don't shit. think so. You're I thinking of Rust with Alec Baldwin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do it. He was the guy he, he was the guy whispering do it. Yeah. Uh, and Rand Baldwin's here. <laughs> we'll say it was a malfunction. Just do it. <laughs> I'm selling sandwiches after. <laughs> How long before he's just like back on SNL? Like yeah. Oh, yeah, it'll be a matter, of, and they'll spoof that that, yeah. that that movie. Maybe I was wrong. That was I crazy. Know. I mean, that's the mo- one of the most horrible things. I can't believe. I mean, yeah. that interview he did crazy. was one of the most cringy. Like crazy. that's what you do in a spoof of what happened. Yeah. Movie. Oh, really? I didn't watch it. I just watched a clip. Yeah, just the clips were brutal. He looked really? weird, too. He looked like he'd probably been fucking drinking. I mean, he's depressing. He killed yeah. somebody. You know what I mean? Like, that's tough to deal with. Yeah. God you know? damn. Yeah, on accident. Um, yeah. Still so, great on 30 Rock. Dude. So good. Unreal. Well, that's, yeah, that's the uh, separate the artist uh. from the art. You know what I mean? It's <laughs> like, he's like some of the best people at 
like impressive stuff are bad people. Sure, you know what I mean. It's like, and I'm not even. I'm not even. That's true. Just in general, because it's like I. I really. What the longer I've. Yeah, it's like. Yeah, it's like it feels like it's zero sum life, where it's like, it like a, it's like a video game where you choose what to put all your points to, right. and empathy. For people that are trying to get famous, the, the empathy bar is real low. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. They're not wasting any of those. They're putting that shit. Michael putting, Jackson, yeah, yeah R. Yeah. Kelly, but it also, but then there's like Norm, who's like my hero, funniest guy ever. He can't drive. Yeah, he can't. He can only he uses all his brain power. Yeah, yeah. to write yeah. jokes and read Dostoevsky, but yeah, he can't yeah, fucking yeah, drive yeah. a car. Well, that's, yeah. that's me minus the Dostoevsky. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I can teach you how to yeah. drive. He just was like, I'm scared of it. I don't like driving. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. I have really? a license, but I, I can't really drive. I'm I grew up in New York, best. though. You know yeah, what I mean? Like weird. Norm is from fucking rural Canada. Yeah, you think he'd be at least driving the tractor? Or some right, shit, you know? right. Colin Quinn was telling me a story that <laughs> that Leonard Cohn used to go watch Norm like every week in Montreal. <laughs> Leonard Cohen was a That's Norm awesome. fan and Norm was like who is this guy like, <laughs> Norm didn't give a shit and then he found out who he was he was like oh, I don't like that shit I like like country I like like country music he, he like blew off Leonard Cohen That's so, wow. that's so sick <laughs> that fucking rules. It's crazy. Uh, One of the best songwriters I ever. I got He's a like, hallelujah hey. for you, pal. <laughs> you <know? laughs> He's just too genuine to fake it. He can't be like, oh, yeah. nice to meet you, man. Right, right, right. He right, just right. can't do that. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's fucking. Do you have any? Do you have any peeves either? You Ooh. peeves? Yeah, I actually. You know what? I because what was the other one? There was running bits, Rex, bits. Rex. I got peeves. them all. But actually, this the separate the artist from the art thing is a bit that I like. I'm toying with that. I can't quite get like because I want to do something about ancient Greece where it's like, well, if we're doing that, that's like. All the ancient Greeks were pedophiles, so it's like I guess oh, yeah. I guess if we're not separating the artist from the art. Say goodbye to geometry. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> say goodbye to that shit. So I'm working. I, I need a little something more to it, but Ooh, it's like I like you it, know dude. something about like I don't if, know. If Alexander the Great was around today, he'd be called uh, Alexander the pedophile. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The great pedophile. Yeah, the great yeah. pedophile. He's good at it. <laughs> Actually, he might have just been a gay guy. I don't even know if he fucked kids. I think he did. He probably did. They, they probably. all did. They, they all did. did. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Charlie yeah. Chaplin. Daughter yeah. was or wife was fourteen. God, Elvis, damn. right? Elvis, yeah. Zeppelin, everybody, everyone. That's was a fucking Jerry wild. Lee Lewis. Yeah, well, <laughs> so many young, pedophiles. Young people are very attractive. <laughs> <laughs> this here's where Mark's like. Technically, they were a <laughs> <laughs> What does that mean? There's some guy will make a every once in a while when the pedophile thing comes up, there'll be a guy on a video like on Twitter that's like. Pedophiles are young kids. A febophile. You're thinking that's 12 to 6. And it's like, okay, man, oh, you can't be making this yeah, distinction. Yeah. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? Good. Like, it's, you, can't, you just can't do that. <laughs> like, every, like, I don't, like, it's always like, I don't know. Will they'll, will they'll drag some, like, uh, you know, Republican like senator or whatever and then like a libertarian will come in and be like well there's words have meaning right. <laughs> right. Like, libertarians are like and by the way there should be no age of consent laws because that's the state you know di you know dictating what you do yeah you know, that kind of shit well yeah. that's the big gillis guy where i'm like oh how do we all miss that one about how did they who came up with the state yeah, yeah like yeah, the, who yeah. made the ages because each state is different yeah, yeah, so who is yeah, that guy yeah. like kentucky 14 yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 oh, that's yeah, such yeah. a great premise yeah, that's great no, really Damn. fucking funny. That was right there. Peeves. I do have peeves. Um, all the all the airline travel, right? Sure. Why on a fucking window plane? Oh, on a window seat. I already know. Lay it Why on me, brother. the fuck can't you put the he the re the armrest up? Why can't you do it on a window? You know, what oh. I mean? you know, because it's like as because you're I'm a man of size, Mark. You don't you don't sure. you're not up against this. M O S. You know, but. When when you're on like no look the aisle I get it you put the armrest up I'm spilling over you know my titties are blocking the cart whatever mm. on the fucking on the window why can't I fucking comfortably lean my entire body up against the fucking window and not be wedged and in why the, the why ribs. do I need a fucking a, a love handle wedge right the, what what safety thing is going on with the fucking armrest there interesting you should make the fucking armrest be able to go up. On the fucking window side. That's a good peeve. Good That's peeve. That's a huge peeve. Because I'm, I'm an aisle guy because I need the extra space a little bit. Yeah. And you can fucking let, let your knee out. But were I, I was, I was forced to sit window because of some fucking, you know, the planes have been fucking horrible this whole last yeah. three months or whatever. I was forced to go window. I was like, what the fuck is this? Why am I fucking... Why am I? Why are my ribs fucking getting poked by this fucking bullshit? I should be able to fucking lean fully, take a little nap up against the fucking window. Anyway, that's my fucking peeve. That's, that's a very peeve. Interesting. That's a good peeve. A good Pisses peeve me the specific. fuck off. I, I got like a flight that. peeve too. Please, we, dude. I don't know if it's been everyone lately, but 
the turbulence has been so bad lately mm. on every flight I've been on. So I'm May on the flight. I haven't experienced that. Maybe God is trying to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> haven't got me yet, motherfucker. But uh, no, I'm just kidding. The guy, the, the guy who mocks God and then immediately is like, but seriously, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Suck my dick, God. <laughs> <laughs> but no, so the turbulence is horrible. And there's a couple next to me, and the woman's like, ah, ah. And I'm just like, oh, come on. Now you're freaking me yeah, out. The yeah. husband's also freaking out. He's like, oh. And they're like holding each other. Oh, I'm like, fuck oh, you. No. That's brutal. That was that's, annoying. <laughs> that's one of those where I'm like, if I'm that guy, I'm literally like, that's why I turn to like an Italian mob boss that's about to kill you know it's like they're about to kill you and they're like don't you want to go out with some dignity you want to you want to die like a bitch like in my i'd have to fake it from like that's your wife dude you're you're screaming in front of your was, wife in your last moments out. you don't want to give her a little comfort like right right most likely you're gonna get out of it so yeah, then yeah. you get out of it and you're just like he's not a man right. yeah yeah right, exactly because i'm like now i'm panicking in my head because i'm just it's like fuck they're freaking out it's making me a little you know unnerved but you know they're doing that and then i'm kind of you also reminded you're like oh i'm alone in the world yeah, yeah, yeah they're yeah, they're yeah, holding yeah, each other yeah, like yeah, no yeah. and i'm just like yeah i mean whatever yeah, yeah. if, if you i die, go down, die. Go down. yeah yeah. Um, yeah that's a great that's a great and so the peeve is not turbulence it's turbulence etiquette Turbulence etiquette. Turbulence etiquette. I love a flight attendant who handles it with dignity. Yeah. Because we all look to the flight attendant because they're the ones who are on every flight. And if you see, I had one guy, we had really bad turbulence on the way there too. He was just standing like this as the plane was shaking. I was like, yes. Yeah. That's a good guy. I respect. Because he was kind of like, it's nothing. He was just like, mm. yeah. And you want to see that as a passenger. Like, yeah. that helps. Yes. It helps so much. Absolutely. We all look to the flight attendant. Yeah. But you know what they should do? Next time a guy's screaming like a bitch, after it all settles down, just go up and be like, sir, here you go and give him a tampon <laughs> just to fuck with him mark carries a tampon yeah. for the bit <laughs> just in case just the bit. <laughs> my peeve is the fucking announcements we got too many announcements I'm with you. all right it never ends and you're like we know all this it's silly of and they, they take they stretch it out it's like don't tamper play with fuck with touch reach around on this uh this uh, smoke detector and then how about this one when they come down with the brochures for the for the uh the miles who is buying those? Yeah, yeah, Who's like, yeah. Who's, me, you know what? Give me that. I'm gonna. Yeah, you sold me. Well, it's not even. They're not buying, isn't it? Like they're literally. You have to apply for a credit card. Yes. It's like I, you expect me to to fill out paperwork and have you do a credit check right now. Yeah. On, on the fucking plane. It I know. It's crazy. It's I, so forced. I hate it. I hate the announcements, especially because. I know some people that just watch the movies on their laptops, so they don't have to deal with that. But you, I'm trying to watch The Winter Soldier. I'm with I'm you. I'm dealing oh, with this bullshit. Yeah. There's a pause. <laughs> it's a good action scene. You disrupted the flow. Yeah. And then I also, porn. you know what I really hated? Back in the day, it's, I don't think they're an airline in America anymore, but Virgin, back when they were an American airline, mm -hmm. you'd get that morning flight, you know it's going to be a long flight, and you just get, they do like a black eyes, black eyed peas type like rap video uh -huh. for like the safety. They'd be yes. like, and you sit down <laughs> and buckle up. And it was like, it was, you know, like one chick, two yeah. dudes, they were like all, a black guy, yeah, and they, yeah, you know, yeah. they're all just like. And you're hung over, like, <laughs> uh, turn this shit up. being so fun. And it was like a long video oh, of singing so and long. dancing. So long. We, we might, might be, be drunk is brought to you by Manscaped. Thanks to Manscaped, everything goes down the drain, including oh, yeah. my career. <laughs> Try their new platinum package. It's like their greatest hits collection. The Lawnmower 4.0 has a special blade so you don't cut yourself and has spotlight to shave in the dark. Plus, it's waterproof. The Weed Whacker nose and ear hair trimmer keeps your hole safe while you clean up. Got to keep those holes safe, folks. While, while their Crop Preserver and Crop Reviver keep you fresh, south of the equator the ultra premium collection with body wash two-in-one shampoo and conditioner and deodorant help you smell good from head to toe get 20 percent off and free shipping with the code drunk at manscaped.com that's 20 percent off free shipping with the code drunk at manscaped.com your balls will thank you and so are your lady or man yes hey hey we Might Be Drunk is brought to you by Lucy. You're a responsible consumer, and you want a responsible way to consume your nicotine, don't you? Well, if you're looking for nicotine gum, lozenges, or pouches to use nicotine to relax, focus, or just unwind after a long day, there's only one stop you should make. Lucy. I like this stuff. The gum tastes great. I prefer the lozenges because you can just throw them in. You're not smacking around town with the chewing. So uh, get on it. Plus, you know... It just tastes good, and it gives you a little jolt. That nicotine. Yeah. Oh yeah, it gives you a kick. If if I'm hungover, 
I pop one of those in and I'm like, woo wee. Pretty good. <laughs> it's the least healthy endorsement of all time. Also, if you're going to the casino, you hit the slots, just chew the gum and you, yeah. you get the same the nicotine without having to kill your lungs. So you've been looking for an alternative to smoking. Why not switch a nicotine product that can actually make you feel good and feel good about doing it? Tell them how, Fatty! If you enjoy using nicotine, you should definitely check out Lucy's products at lucy.co. That's lucy.co, promo code DRUNK at checkout. Also, I have to read this disclaimer, warning this product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. Remember... If you're interested in a better way to use nicotine, visit lucy.co and be sure to use that promo code DRUNK. Mm -hmm. Here, here. Hey, folks, We Might Be Drunk is brought to you by Factor. If you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. Factor is here to give you delicious, healthy meals that are ready in minutes. With Factor, spend less time in the kitchen, more fun in the sun. It's fresh, never frozen, prepared, super good, delicious. You won't believe, and they're good for you. With 30 meals offered each week, you'll never be bored with your meal plans. Each meal arrives pre-prepared and ready to eat in two minutes. That's faster than getting a pizza. Look at all they got. They got vegan, veggie meals, low-calorie options, juices, smoothies, energy bites, plant-based bars, extra protein, and veggie sides to every meal. They sent me a bunch. They were great. It's, good. I ate, it's really I ate good. One, it's really good. I ate one every day. I'd give them to the lady. She's a food snob. She liked it. Those smoothies are incredible. Yeah. Nice just having the house. Coconut milk. Woo! So good. good. Yeah. So uh, head to go.factor75.com slash drunk120. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so that's go.com. No, sorry. Go.factor75. Dot com slash drunk 120 to get 120 dollars off damn mm, drunk 120 amazing. it's that's good it. i really liked it i mean i still have in my freezer just to for you never know when you want a quick two minute uh heat up you know exactly yeah so that's code drunk 120 at go.factor75.com slash drunk 120 for 120 dollars off healthy eating made easy get on it that's gonna oh, suck to have weird. that kind of talent, and they're like, "You booked a gig. Uh, <laughs> You're the virgin rapper." Uh, <laughs> like that's interesting. I am actually a virgin rapper. Yeah. So, perfect. I'm with you on the interruption. Oh shit! They have there played it. it. This is wow. amazing. Wow. Played, Todrick this Hall. Todrick Hall. That guy cleaned up on this. By oh, the way. totally. Oh, no, they fucking ads. Fucking ads, dude. And you're not getting the fucking ad. I'm not even going to say the thing. No, they don't can say suck it. our dicks. Yeah, it's uh, it's sheath.com. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. It really is. I know they're a sponsor, but Great I fucking underwear. love that underwear. Great okay. underwear. I might have to fuck with Check it. Check out sheath. My friend. Yeah. Oh, here it is. This is a high production. This is oh, insane. Yeah. There he is. There he is, Todrick. <laughs> Damn, this has got to hurt your street cred in the rap world. <laughs> I don't... This is at a okay. sound stage in L.A. What's up with the girl on the right? It's kind of a good song, though. <laughs> it's kind of but they have talent, you know? <laughs> but when you're hungover on a flight, uh, and you're just you're like, just let me get fucking a superhero movie so I don't have to think. Of course. Yeah, exactly. Yep. I got the nun. <laughs> I'd fuck that nun. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I've never it's never been a, much of a thing for I guess people like it because if they're so religious and it's like a real you know you get you get the symbolism behind it sure. yeah. that's never really you know appealed eh, to me because I'm not either. very religious anyway but, but what's, just if, that lady, what's your would, what's your thing like uh, dress up is there one that would do it for you you know I just like stupid hair I like dumb wigs I like mm. just yeah. a, I like I don't I don't know if it's a character I just I'm a very simple visual man so yeah. if it's like i don't want necessarily an outfit so much as i want like dumb lipstick dumb hair like pink pink wig or something like uh -huh. that pink wig is like hot. like just yeah. interesting makeup just just you but like a fuck a fucked up <laughs> sluttier version yeah. it's great like some kind of futuristic <laughs> sex bot you yeah. know what i mean like that kind of shit well that... that's kind of the, a female peacocking you're like yeah, you're yeah, going yeah. all in you look crazy it's very feminine too yes give me like bimbo from the future right. you know what i mean like that's that's kind of my shit but you know. i'm with you tats get me i love tattoos mm -hmm. i like nails on a woman sure i want the whole thing i'm I with like you nails yeah, yeah nails are hot but then i also i'm like she'll never stick that finger in my butt that's the problem <laughs> you need a bi girl it's so, it's so carefully <laughs> have you ever 
seen bi girls that have all their nails and just these two not done? And you're like, oh. that's a lesbian. That's a bi girl. Is that what really? That is? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. A girl they, they keep s- finger popping nails. Yeah, yeah. Right. A girl wanted to set me up on a date and she goes, but you'll never like her. She's bi. And I'm like, yeah, that's my problem. <laughs> that's, uh... <laughs> Why wouldn't you like her? I don't know. <laughs> why I was like, was she going to be fucking around with other women constantly? She's like, no. I'm like, I don't get why this is yeah, a deal yeah, breaker. Yeah. It sounds great. Yeah. I know. And I wish, I mean, this, this is another bit that I'm trying to, like, I was doing it when I had a girlfriend and I'm kind of trying to figure out a way to like run it back. But we, you know, that's how dumb I understand it is homophobic, but it's like if a girlfriend fucked a woman, I literally I know I shouldn't feel this way. I would be like, nice. <laughs> like yeah. that is, you know what I'm I mean? the same way. And it's so stupid. And it is homophobic because what you're saying is like, well, that's not a real <laughs> That's not a real sexual relationship. Uh, that's a fun little thing, you know. But it's like it is. And that's a could, good point. They could be stolen from you by a woman, very, probably easier than by sure. a man. Oh yeah, oh, she's you know? finding. Like, yeah. They know the clip. She's yeah, finding yeah, spots yeah. that we're yeah. not. But I, yeah. I, and I just do think that. Like I can't, I can't. I'm the same way. I can't take myself from that. You know, I think it would probably take losing your girl to a woman to yeah. f- to be like, you know what? I, but even then, it would be like. Yeah, but maybe this time is yeah. you know what I mean? Like I'm with you, but even then I think I would be like, Well it's not me that's what I could have done. Sure. It's a woman. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah you know yeah, what you yeah. gotta do in that situation. If a girl leaves you for a woman and she tells you you gotta go, I'll allow it, but I gotta fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta fuck her and, and like, then you guys can run off and she's the like, I'm I'm my stuff's already packed, Mark. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, you know, what do you of course not. <laughs> she normal. weighs more than you. <laughs> <laughs> it is hot. And I'm though. good. Yeah. <laughs> There was something hot about that. Yeah, that would be great. She's like, yeah, no problem. And then it's just like, uh, just a girl in a, in, a sa- in a shirt that I would wear comes in. Just yeah. a girl in a 2XL Hawaiian. It's like, <laughs> I heard you want a little piece of this, Mark. <laughs> it's just like. <laughs> I was trying to work on a bit how it didn't really work, but how like, I, I, true story, I saw two lesbians making out and I was so drunk. I just went, yes, like loudly. <laughs> and then they stopped making out and one of, the, one of them was an effeminate man. So I'm just cheering oh. on. <laughs> I'm just cheering on. There's no coming back. <laughs> what was he wearing? A tank top? Uh, what was he? Like, he how just had like kind of weird hair. It was just like, <laughs> well, then you just look like a pro relationship guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like I'm I love love. love. Yeah. 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 Good for you guys. Love. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Heteronormative. <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah. But my, I mean, uh, I'm, this is different for women. Where Please. I've had many women behind closed doors say, if my boyfriend ever blew a guy. That'd be the end of that. Oh, interesting. It's probably different. Why always really, it's weird when you hear guys like Harry Styles who are like, it's like sexually fluid. I'm always kind of like, is that, I, at the risk of sounding ignorant, is that, I don't know any guys really like that, I don't think. What do you mean? Who will just kind of. Androgynous? Not, no, not androgynous. You like, mean in their sexual, like heteroflexible guys. Yes. Uh, guys that are mostly straight, but ah. Eh. Every once in a while, might get sucked off. Do it's, we know anybody? Else? I think we know a lot more guys. And I'll be honest with you, I might be one of those guys. Really? really? I've never been sucked off by a guy, but I tell this story a lot. And I don't want to repeat myself, but there was just a guy who reminded me of this girl I knew. <laughs> and we were he was like a little blonde guy, hairless. You oh, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like just cute mannerisms of a woman. And I was like, ah, you know, I, got, I literally had another show. He was like, we were chatting at the bar. I was like, I have another spot after this, but if I didn't, who knows? Yeah. <laughs> like, where I kind of think, I think for me, it's like, well, I don't even fucking care anymore. Like, I've fucked a bunch of girls. It's kind of lo- like just randomly fucking has kind of lost its mystique a little bit where I'm like, yeah. this would be an interesting night. You got to mix it up. It would, yeah. be, it would be something. The post sex like, would definitely be better. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he brings out his Xbox. <laughs> <you know? laughs> um, but, but that's yeah. pretty, if you're going to go gay, that's the straightest gay. Sure, you know, like a sure, twinky, yeah. cute, that is a, blonde, a hairless man. It is the ancient Greek tradition of <laughs> yes. hold around a little guy to suck you off after you're, you know, after you've been doing philosophy all day. <laughs> you, have, you, have, you, you have your little gay best friend who sucks your dick, but right, uh, and, that, and that's separate from your wife, who's there from to make children only. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> that was your guma back yeah, in the yeah, day. Your guma was a, a bro that you could wrestle with, and then fucking d- bounce philosophy and theorems <laughs> off each other. <laughs> And then he blows you afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like heaven. Yeah, those guys had it figured out. Oh yeah. But yes, I don't. But I do think. I don't like, think. I, I don't think I have any attraction to men. Is the thing. I just. I, yeah, I don't know. Most I know. men, I'm with you. Like it, it. It's like it is funny when you're like, 
like me and my fr- eldest, me and my but it's like we think about that all the time. Where we make, you know, you make the dumb jokes like, why don't you come suck my dick? And then every once in a while, you think about that, yeah, <laughs> and it repulses you to your core. It really and does. And you're like, how do women fuck us? <laughs> like that's what yeah, me and eldest talk about. Where it's like we are horror shows. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like you're some big lumbering hairy piece of shit. I'm fat as hell. But they like that. But they li- they do like that. But bald. Some of them like a bald spot. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm like that's fucking- well, what's manly than a bald spot. Yeah, but yeah, I would yeah. love to get a woman's head for like an hour and yeah. just see what the hell's going on because they're very yeah. secretive with yeah, everything yeah, what they yeah. like they yeah, made a movie yeah. about that with Mel Gibson to see horrible <laughs> yeah. they gotta get better they gotta get in yeah. there more yeah no it's it's uh it is weird like every once in a while because I remember older women too are more open to like whatever is was formerly weird about us yeah they like I totally. remember in college a girl wanted me to shave my chest and then I, women now will be like I love that you're hairy totally totally and it's like, oh, where were you when I was a kid? Well, I do when think they grow up. I yeah. think there's an element of they're growing up, but also like, like body body positive shit has affected men a lot less. Like it's definitely it's body dysmorphia is a lot worse for women, obviously. Sure, yeah. sure, but yeah. at the same time, definitely, I think there was like a you know a bit of a fucking metro sexual thing going on when we were in our youth, right? Yeah. Like when you're in your twenties, there was a little bit of that going around where it's like, you know, the first iteration of Queer Eye, there was a lot of like yep, getting yep. your eyebrows done for the first time was going around amongst male, like it was like a, you know, and I think it kind of went swung the other way. And now it's like, you know, you can be yourself, be, do whatever you want, essentially. Yeah. Well, and it's like, you know, we're so lucky. Guys are so lucky that women can see past oh the look so much. I mean, oh. they can really like, who if you, are you talking to? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to say it, but yeah. <laughs> like you kill on stage, yeah, you're, com- yeah, you're confident, yeah, yeah, yeah. you wear it well. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, that yeah. you're in. Totally, totally. No, I've definitely talked to women who are like, Stav is so, I've definitely talked to women who are like into Stav for sure. Yeah. Oh, like, there's yeah. a type. There's a yeah. definite, but that's the thing. Everyone does have a type and it's yeah. like, and I do think, and it's kind of goes back to the f- gender f- or the s- sexuality fluid shit is like, there is a little bit, people are into everything. Yeah. And there's a little bit of like, from the moment you're born, you're like, you get either implicit or explicit messages of what it's okay to be into, Mm. right? So from the time we're little kids, it's like, especially when we were growing up and maybe even further back, it's like what it's okay to be into for us is like hot, like probably blonde, probably, you know what I mean? Like there's a specific, yeah, a type of beauty and you get those messages and it like kind of fucks up and that's not naturally what everybody's into. You know what I mean? Like that's probably most people are probably, there's, a larger percentage of people who are probably into that thing, but it's not exclusive. No. And it's the same way where it's like, people would fuck, a, I mean, you, people would fuck whatever, dude, and want to enthusiastically if they weren't like, if they weren't worried about like backlash or like not being seen as somebody who's cool. Like, it's right. also like a, it's also like a, a, like, you know, like, why do, like, it's funny. Why do, like, if, if you know, do you know closeted guys who like all their girlfriends are tens? And you're like, well, yeah. that guy doesn't actually fuck women. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah. there'd be one six and a half that no one else gets that just absolutely does it for him. You know right, what I mean? Right, or it's yeah. like, it's like, it's like, there's, so I don't know. It's like, it's all like a complicated thing where if people would be allowed to be into whatever, we'd see a lot more weird people that were so wow. much weirder looking, a lot of whatever. And it's like, yeah, that's, yeah, look at their search exists. history. That's, that's what you see say. them at yeah. a bar yeah. with. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. that is hidden. You don't have to show anybody what you're right, Googling and shit. Right. And that, and then you go to all these rooms or, or porn sites and you're like, I'm not the first guy. Yeah, Somebody yeah, made yeah. this site because yeah. they like this shit and I like it and totally. now we're in this together. But it's become, now more than ever, it's like you see people kind of just doing what makes them feel good. I yeah, agree. Yeah. yeah. And that's good. Which is cool. Yeah. Feel yeah. good. That's great. And I have friends who just completely are like, you know what? I don't think I'll, I ever want a regular relationship. I think I want to just fucking be out on my own, have different hook up with people and just kind of like focus, do my own shit. And th- those same people are like, yeah, and maybe I'm bo- like, maybe I'm a little bi, you know what I mean? Like, just like everyone is just doing their own thing and it is, it is pretty fucking cool. And then, and then I also think there's obviously like a backlash of like some people. Kevin are, Spacey. Are like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Don't do anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. It depends what you want to do. Right. You know, we're, we're pretty open here, but there is a couple. <laughs> that's coming though. I'm yeah. telling you, that's coming. Like, Kids, you'll be like, I uh, like getting fucked by adults, and then we're like, oh, well, he likes it. Uh, yeah, that, that, but, all that's coming. Yeah, but like, he's a fucking kid. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? He also would eat ice cream every day. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? It's like there probably are. Like, think about us, right? When you were twelve, how many times were you like, I would, I wish my 
biology teacher would bring me into this broom closet and suck my dick right oh, now. Oh, my God. But it would have fucking warped your mind, probably. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I, mean, like, I think it would have been cool as hell. Yeah, yeah, listen, I'm with you. I'm with, listen, <laughs> I'm with you, too, but it's like, at the end of the day, my it's My biology like, teacher was an old man, but I still would have done yeah. it. <laughs> there is a good teacher. I think there's just the, the line of, like, <laughs> when they can, you know, when people can fucking consent to some shit. That is the well, line. Well, what about you know? gender? What do you mean? Now you're getting blurry with the gender stuff, with, like, kids, uh... You know, getting a sur- surgical shit. I think as long as there's nothing, I think permanent? as long as there's nothing permanent, it's like a kid should be able to do whatever the fuck they want. As long as they have like their biology may isn't necessarily, you know, irreversible. I think for for the most part, a lot of people are, are hyping that up to be like, oh, they're putting them on surgeries and doing this shit. Where in the reality, it's like just a kid wants to dress how they want to dress, be called what they want to be called and that kind of thing. And I think yeah. like. Who gives a fuck? It's the same thing with drag queens. Everyone talking about how kids shouldn't be allowed to fucking... Drag queens shouldn't be able to, like, read the kids. It's like... I mean, some drag queens are explicit. That's but exactly right. some of them right. are just, like, it's com- fucking it's cartoon complex. characters. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's nuanced. It's the way, it's the way like, you don't think, like, uh, you know, where do can, we... You, can you kidnap take a picture with Spider-Man in Times Square? Exactly. It's exactly. also a character. Exactly. Right. Like, right. come on. Okay, exactly. That's a great point where it's like, okay, what if it's a guy in a Elsa wig and he's wearing a thing and he's shaved and he looks like Elsa? Yeah. It's Disney. It's like, is that... And you couldn't even tell, really. Oh, you wouldn't have a problem with that, but it's like, is that an issue? It's just right. like, you know... Well, what if I, I think it's much working on me. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it's but I think it's much, you know, it's it's publicized because it's the most extreme version. It's going to sure. get clicks, but it's it's not a it's a mostly a non-issue. Yeah, absolutely. it's just a way for them to spread outrage. Of course, of course. Like with the, how how many people did the bathroom issue really affect? But that was every fucking Fox News thing. We oh, were. I know, guys. I know. Come yeah. on, and like calling them like, what if it's a trans pedophile? I'm like. Do you want to look at the odds? Yeah, what about of the, how many of those actually are? Just regular <laughs> pedophiles. Yeah. How about we do something about regular pedophiles? That's what I was yeah, yeah, yeah. Give them their own bathrooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'd rather my kid piss next to. That's how we know. bust him. He went into the yeah. pedophile room. Yeah. Move. Yeah. And it's also like I don't want to be a hack because everybody on Twitter like basically ratio that dumb. What's that dumb bitch? Lauren Bobert. Whatever oh, the fuck her name is. Oh, she got her ass kicked. Where she was like, she was like, well, you got to keep them. Send kids to church, not drag shows. Uh, and yeah. It's like. Where do kids really get fucked, Lauren? <laughs> <laughs> do they get fucked? Where have more kids been also, fucked? Also, those aren't the only two options. Right? Yeah, yeah, There's yeah, other yeah. shit kids can what about do. Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> yeah. Can we go in the middle? DZ, yeah. man. And her, and her. Oh, DZ, shout out. What a fucking place. Pizza. Yeah. That was fucking. The pizza wasn't as good as Chuck E. Cheese. It was all bad pizza, but it's oh, still, it's all, all pizza is good. DZ had way more of the, like, it was more of an adventure, though. It was for, yeah. Like, you felt like a big kid when you were a DZ. That was the first place I got diddled. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the guy called his dick. <laughs> <laughs> he, he just ski ball on Mark's butthole. He fucking threw it in. He just just three kids lined up with their asses out. Pedophile ski ball. <laughs> he got a hundred every the time. The hottest one was a hundred. <laughs> some fat kids, some like ugly kid with pimples is ten. <laughs> <laughs> that was only a quarter. <laughs> oh, Man, DZ. Dude. Those those are like those look fu- like a fun place to take a kid, dude. Those I wish, ball pits, absolutely. Dude. But you don't want to get a germaphobe in that ball pit. No, I mean that's fecal matter all day long, baby. Yeah. What Every are, time I swim in a hotel pool, I'm like, I'm just bathing in urine. Urine, hundred percent. But whatever. whatever. Who gives it's a good fuck? for the skin. Yeah. I love a nice hotel. Kevin pool. Spacey told his victim. <laughs> yeah. R. Kelly. That was in his book. I was a bedwetter. Yeah. Peed yeah. on a lot of kids. Two, two years older, right? About 14. That's wow. crazy. Yeah, it was 14 rough. is wild. That's old for that. What, was there yeah. ever anything that kicked it? Was there ever like an end? Do you ever feel like I'm clean? Uh, I kicked it eventually at around 13, 14, but then when I would drink, it came back. So I peed on a lot of one night wow. stands, which was, wow. you talk about embarrassing. <laughs> My God. I mean, you're already disappointing them sexually because yeah, yeah, you're so drunk. Yeah. And then you, you wake up, you're both covered in piss, and it's their bed. And, you know, we're all young and poor and in college. It was brutal, yeah. man. You disappoint them, and then like your, your piss is like the Nick Fury part of the Marvel movie where yeah. it shows up at the end. Uh, like more, <laughs> yeah, and it's that been drinking all night piss. It's like syrupy and oh, stinky. Oh, it's yeah. like you weren't getting fucking eight glasses of water the night no, before. No, <laughs> yeah, that shit is yellow. Do you remember drinking when you were young and you were just dude? The amount of beer we would just drink. Oh. Back. I can't imagine. Like I'll drink beer now, but it's like back then when you're just like I'll just have like fourteen fucking natty lights. It was awesome. I know. Beer Honestly, pong. I, at my brother's wedding, I had like fucking. 
18 beers, dude. That's <laughs> I was awesome. fucked up. I was because I don't like I said I don't drink a lot, so it's like I'm a fuck. I'm huge these days too, so I'm just like. Keep them, keep, and they were fucking. Most of them were IPA. Oh, I was that's getting, a bad drum. I was that's getting wild. fired. Up. Alcohol content. Too. I was getting fucked. Up. I had a great time, but yeah. But then I got COVID immediately after that. I think probably I lowered my <laughs> yeah, my yeah. immune system a little that's bit. That's the worst part. Yeah. I I would get. I feel like I just get sick when I get. Oh, it does, not all the time, but every once in a while you get a hangover and you're like, oh, this is gonna be like eight days. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A hangover that goes into a cold. Absolutely, one of the worst. Because it's like it's like all the fucking yeah. Because you're not. Everything else you're doing is horrible for you too. Exactly, and you're getting fucked up, and no you know? sleep. And if you took the booze out of it, you'd still get sick. Right, the booze just takes it to the fucking next level. And also the beer, you're pissing all night. The lack of sleep is the problem. Now you're waking up to piss. I'll tell you what's been great for hangovers lately is I'll do a lot of natural wine. Mm. No hangover, man. Mm. Almost no hangover. Interesting. But the problem is you're, you're just still bloated all the time. Yeah. So you're like, oh, this is what like an O'Doul's drinker <laughs> yeah, feels like. Yeah, right, you right. still kind of feel like crappy. Yeah, yeah. But you're just not hungover. Yeah, there's one very very simple solution which is like <laughs> you know stop change the name of the show <laughs> you know what I mean like <laughs> we're in too deep stuff yeah, yeah it's too late now <laughs> we're in too deep yeah I love it any any wrecks from you guys oh I gotta say have you seen I, I, I picked this for you okay but it's also great we own this city I haven't yet. It's the oh, first one I want. I'm love John Bernthal. Love John Bernthal. So good. It's Baltimore. It's I, I have the book. I started reading it. Oh, really? It. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's David Simon. David Did Simon. he write the book? No, no. He didn't write the book. But it's um, the, the Wire guys yeah. made it. And he is so good in it. The accent is he fucking nails hilarious. The I've, heard the, I've heard the clips. He nails it. It's great. Um, I did Jim and Sam with him the day. Really? The day... It was like a news story because he. It was the day where he was like, "Yeah, Kevin Spacey's a piece of shit." That's awesome. Because they were in Baby Driver together, and he said, uh, "Yeah, fuck that guy." That's sick. And it became. I was getting picked up by news outlets like John Bernthal says Kevin Spacey sucks, and I was like, like, "Wow, we oh, didn't. Wow. We all know he's a rapist, right?" <laughs> but this was before that. <laughs> oh, I think. it was before. Yeah, oh. I think he was just saying he's a dick. Damn, that's sick. Yeah. Good for him, dude, because yeah. he wasn't even really popping yet. Like Bernthal, I mean, now he feels like he's fucking untouchable. He was in stuff then, though. I feel was like was that post Punisher, post Wall yeah. Street. Okay, yeah, he was I think he's one of those things. dudes that's just good. He's, just he's fucking, good. he's incredible. He's, he's good. Incredible. He nails his role, and it's fun. Yeah. It's shot well. It's cool. Wolf of yeah. Wall Street. Yeah, he was so good in that. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh he's fuck, good. I gotta go watch Shot Caller. Fury. Wow. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, my wreck. Hot my wreck. Yeah, that's a good one. I'm, I'm definitely gonna see it. Um, my wreck is, uh, you know, this happening by accident, but I'm going to wreck, uh, I don't know if it's called edging or what it is, but <laughs> I was, I was getting, uh, I was getting sucked off recently uh -oh. and there was a moment of miscommunication and you know where you're like, there's like, there's like a, a millisecond right when you're about to bust where it's like, if you stop, it's just like the mo you're just like, your body's like, oh, what the fuck's yes. going on? You're not going to bust. The dick kind of like, it's like a cartoon where it's like, you put your hand on the gun and it's like, Poof, you know, it just kind of yeah. explodes and goes back in the barrel. Right, right. <laughs> it's like, you know, <laughs> and uh, this, so I was getting sucked off and I was just like, I was, I don't know what I said. I was like, keep going. Or I just said something. I must've been mumbling because I'm like fucking about to bust is the best, the only good moment of the of that day and uh and she just stops she just goes what complete takes her hand complete hand and mouth completely off my piece i'm like i'm like i'm gonna boss i'm like it's good come on i'm just like what the fuck yeah she stopped right then and there and then i was like all right well I'm, it'll come back i guess i'll bust in a second she goes back to sucking me off my dick feels weird it's like tingling oh. and it's like and i'm like what the fuck is going on it feels like fu i'm mad i'm like i gotta get this out of me you know what i mean like right my dick feels a, like i'm both about to come and not about to come at the same time it feels so strange and then i finally did bust the nut like 10 minutes later and i was just like whoa <laughs> like my <laughs> eyes rolled in the back of my head it was fucking insane and now i get why sting does all that weird tantric <laughs> shit. Oh. i literally came like women come when i was like oh <laughs> you know I was just like, it lasted long i was like what the fuck is going i was confused never felt anything like that before in my what life the song bring on the night is about too. huh yeah yeah <laughs> he couldn't stand another second of daylight. He was dying. But yeah. In the end, no. So that's, wait, let he, me see if I got it. Yeah. You 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 get blown. You're yeah. right about to bust. Right about to bust. At the moment you're about to bust, you stop. Okay. You let it go, and you're like, oh, you know. And then you let it cool off, and then go right back to getting. Oh. You put off the orgasm, basically. Oh wow, and that's hard. And then it's hard. almost like you bust two at once. 
Damn. And it was fucking weird. I was like, what the fuck? I literally, when I so was So she coming, knew what she was doing to you? No, not at all. It oh, was really? a fucking completely happy accident. Damn. Yeah. This yeah. is like how potato chips were invented. <laughs> it was an accident. No, you know, <laughs> actually, truly, and this, is, this is just random fat knowledge I have, that is how um, the like crescent rolls in a thing were invented, where somebody only had time to bake them halfway and had to stop. <laughs> And then came back and, and Matt thought they were going to be like rotten or whatever. And they were like, well, these seem kind of fine. And then like rebake them and like realize like, oh, we could like we could halfway do them or whatever. And then yeah. it's like just you just have to finish them for five minutes and they're fine. Huh. So actually, yeah, it was. It was wow. Yeah, yeah. They edged the crescent rolls. They edged rolls. the yes. crescent rolls. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. That's interesting. A lot of shit was that tea was an accident. Leaves, tea leaves fell into a boiling pot of water. Wow. Tea. Look at that. Yeah, Damn. fun fact. Yeah, that so must have happened like 7,000 years ago. Yeah, oh, Some yeah. Some Chinese guy was just hanging out. Exactly. <laughs> trying to make soup. <laughs> he was edging, and he's yeah. like, oh, uh, oh, shit, some leaves are falling. Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. Uh, yeah. All right, good to know. I would say give it a whirl, but it is. it was tough, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's going to be tough to re Oh, here we go. Re-enact. Was that right? Was, was this... The Slinky. The Did Slinky was an accident? Post-it note, all accidents. Wow. How was a post-it note an accident? I was an accident. <laughs> <laughs> Were you? Play-Doh was an accident. Damn. Damn. Happy accident. Chocolate chip cookies. What? what the fuck? No, I mean, that's just fucking complete. That's a that's a slam dunk. It just didn't melt in the... Yeah, that's, he must have felt awesome. Whoever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who didn't Velcro? think? Velcro? What do, you mean pop, what do you mean popsicle? popsicle. 11 year old boy. You see old dudes in Velcro sneakers. It just looks fun. Yeah. yeah. They just gave up completely. I, so I had Good such wide feet as a child and big feet. I was like, like now my, you know, I wear like a weird, my feet are bizarre. They're 11 and a half, 6E, the widest, the widest you can get. Really, I can only buy new balances and like a couple shoes where I'm comfortable. Mm. But when I was a little kid, I had like, I'm like, I'm, you know, I was eight years old with like size eight, double wide feet. And it was like, I was wearing old men's Velcro <laughs> shoes because I was like, I also couldn't tie my shoes until late for whatever reason. Yeah. And so I just would wear Velcro. And at first they make Velcro for little kids, you know, obviously. But then my feet were so big and I was that I was wearing like orthopedic old man's uh, Velcro. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like in third grade with just like the you fucking. You play basketball and stuff though, right? What do you do? I haven't played basketball since I figured out what my actual foot size. And it's like th- there's a couple shoes that fit me and I just stuck with them. I wore I wore the Iversons in the uh, Reeboks. The Reeboks. I wore the Iversons in middle school. I wore um I wore the Dwayne Wade Converses. You remember those? Those were pretty bit. good. Those are pretty good for the foot. Um what else? A couple Jordans. Just like it's really just like it's really just like shoe to shoe. You have to try it on and see see what fits for you. But So are you girthy? No, poor Come on, penis. really? It's just a regular run of the mill. Ah, oh, shit. I know. Sorry. It's a, it's really a brute like if women know how big my feet are and then see my dick, it's a real it's a real letdown. The, <laughs> you know what I mean? The feet <laughs> thing is a myth. My dad has tiny like Asian lady feet, wow. and he's got a huge hog. Huge cl- <laughs> he's got a huge clit, and it yeah. tastes great too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> tastes good. <laughs> it's like Uzo. Yeah. <laughs> Uzo, dude. Yeah, we should fucking we should have some Uzo. You guys got to come to Queens, dude. We gotta have some Uzo. Go get some fucking Greek food. Just we gotta get grilled octopus. Oh, you got to come through, dude. That's it. the most underrated food. Mm-hmm. So good. I know that grilled octopus, grilled calamari, all grilled the, calamari, the shit, dude. all the good shit. Greek food's awesome. Greek food is. Yeah, I'm sad. Incredible. I don't. I really don't think I'm gonna go back this year, just because like traveling seems like the least. Like what I want to do is not have to travel. That's what's not stressful to me right now. So people don't understand. And, and I just they have want like to a stay wedding. in one. I'll have like one weekend off. They're like, we have a wedding and this, and I'm like, fucking a. I That's travel. what happened this tour. The end of I was booked everything but two weeks, and the like the leading up to the special release, and the only two weeks were my brother's bachelor party and his wedding. So well, they weren't real weekends off. Okay. Like something Those, you, that's harder on your body yeah. than a gig. <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. Travel. You get why these guys go first class. They go private jet. It's just. It's the travel that kills you. Yeah. The gigs absolutely. aren't bad at all. The gigs are fine. The gigs are nothing. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Gigs are fun. The green room is nice. Yeah. The hotel is nice. But that travel, because it's Even just- the hotel, though, I'm starting to like, uh, I just want to be in my fucking shitty little bed. Do you do uh, Airbnb like sometimes? Huh? I do Airbnb sometimes, yeah. Especially if I'm traveling with the crew. Because mm. it's just like you get a nicer house. You don't have to fucking, you know- Four hotel rooms. That that's, a lot of money. that's a lot of money. That's a P. I'm getting sick of checking in. 
why does that take <laughs> yeah. 11 minutes or 18 minutes? You know, okay, what's your last name? Do you have an ID? I hate that process. Yeah. You just turn in a dice. You're like, G -g 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 come on. Come on. <laughs> Give me the key. Well, the, the gym's over here. We have breakfast at this time. I'll figure this it out. I'll yeah, figure it out. Yeah. You know what the worst is when they give you the, the map of the city? They're like, let yeah. me show you where yeah, to go. Yeah, yeah, oh, wow. Yeah. Well, I wonder if I could find that on my phone yeah. right here. <laughs> Holy shit. Exactly. They're circling shit. Get out of here. No, I, I definitely... Uh, you check in, especially the places that won't check you. For whatever reason, you land at one, and they're like, oh, oh, it's not available till three. Brutal. And you're like, brutal. Kill like, me. I'm checking in on a Thursday. Yeah. The hotel was at capacity on Wednesday. That's what you want me to believe? <laughs> there was no room available for me right now, you fucking assholes. And I know it's a hack joke, but it's so true. Like, check in is at 7 p.m., check out is at 4 a.m. You know, they right, just right, keep right. moving yeah, yeah, back yeah, and yeah. back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the poly of that joke, you know, <laughs> remember that joke he had about he checks into the hotel and there's a, there's a shit in his toilet and he calls the front desk and goes, you know, most hotels leave a mint on your pillow. <laughs> 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 he has some classic road jokes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. 100%. Uh, yeah, man. It's uh, it's the best, though. I do. I still love the road. It's weird. I do, too. I do, if, too. If it, what I, the way I describe it is, if it wasn't destroying my body, it yeah. would be heaven. Well, like that's every a choice. No, nah, but it, but even the drinking. What, let's let's it's see. Everything. Let's look at your livers in a couple years, motherfucker. <laughs> <All right. laughs> uh, Listen, uh, the livers my, very resilient. My my my, <laughs> my vice shows up right away. You motherfuckers are gonna have cirrhosis in ten years. Uh, <laughs> Mark Cohen is liver resilient. Yeah. It's, like, it's like a wife beater in the fifties. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, you'll never get mad. Greg Giraldo's ah oh, oh, shit. Yeah. All right, damn it. But that's I'm, it's like it's just like. Like doing what you love the most, tra traveling and seeing cool cities, getting fucked up, eating like good food, getting to fuck girl. Just like that is if that's what I want heaven to be. Yes. Or being on the, a sold out tour with your best <laughs> friends and you feel no hangovers, no nothing. Uh, First class fucking sweets. That's heaven. heaven. That's literally heaven. heaven. You're on the but, flight. You're first class. You're sitting next to a milf. Yeah. Yeah. You're yes. edging. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. She's giving you a little. She's OTP jerking you off exchange. under the. Hundred <laughs> percent. Oh, they have all the John Wicks. The, you know what I mean? They have all the John Wicks. The flight and, attendant walks over. What are you doing? She starts sucking you too. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. This is the good. This is heaven. First good. class meal. The first class meal is Popeyes. Oh. <laughs> Yes. That's literally what heaven would be for me. And then, you know, you get to see your family during the holidays. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but it's like, it's unfortunately there are body limitations, you know what I mean? Sure. To like, whatever. But Oh, uh, no, know. we're feeling it. I, I don't feel good. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm saying. My body is definitely not doing well. The lack of sleep is, is what kills me. That's what fucks me. Every yeah. article is like, dementia is from the lack of sleep. I'm like, cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah years I remember my grandma at the end. She was telling the same stories every day. <laughs> I know. She was singing zippity doo dah. <laughs> she was not making a lot of sense. You're going to yeah. be the old folks home doing I got this. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just wrote this shit. It's pretty yeah, new. Yeah, yeah. Stop asking. Asking me where I'm from, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my God, I'm gonna be trying doing crowd work with the nurses. Yeah. Uh, where do you work? Here, sir. <laughs> now let me change your diaper. Uh, where are you from, sir? I'm from Jersey. I'll talk slower, sir. You're senile. That does scare me because we we know comics where we're telling the same stories oh, already. Yeah. yeah. Picture them in like 40 years yeah i know yeah. i know that's yeah. tough we should all quit comedy <laughs> yeah, i think that's the whenever only... people get back and they quit and then they come they're like i'm back and i'm like it's like shawshank yeah. you made it yeah, yeah, yeah. leave yeah no it's the mafia yeah. where it's like there's no way out and the yeah. rare guys that do it's like never come back like you figured out like we're we have no other choice <laughs> this is yeah. the episode where the guy tries to get out of the sopranos because he yes. inherits that money yeah it just ends with him hanging, hanging himself. himself that's comedy <laughs> yeah that's your only way out that's... <laughs> yeah that's it <laughs> i mean now as i really I, I saw a guy recently you ever have this happen where he was like oh I'll send you. I'll send you my set. Not like, would you watch my set? Like, oh, like dude. I'll send it. To you. I'm like, it's like a favor. Yeah, 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 of course. I hate when people ask for favors, but they do it. It's like, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, like, yeah. All right. You okay. ever, you ever have the guy who you started doing comedy with, and he just fizzled mm -hmm. out, and you're like, oh, whatever happened to that guy? And then you see him, 
Oh. He's always way happier. Yeah, he's always yeah, working yeah, somewhere, yeah. and he's like, totally. "How are you, man? I'm married yeah. now. I got two kids. I, I, I I'm a pilot or whatever." Yeah, you're yeah, like, "Oh, yeah. good for you." Yeah. yeah until, until you hear about that guy in the news, you're like, "Yeah, he crashed the plane. He was <laughs> yeah. not. You think he was happy, but he yeah. was not. He was that, doing his act in the announcements. Yeah. I think about this shit. The German wings guy. Remember that shit? Oh, that the was German awesome. The German wings pilot just <laughs> awesome. Wait, you're talking about the guy who was be who is who suicide. Oh, he I killed know a whole plane of people. I know. Oh. I know the guy Mark's talking about. He's, that guy stole a plane, did loop de loops with no training, was just sick at flying the plane, and then crashed it. There was pretty cool way to kill yourself. Pretty cool. Pretty cool way to kill yourself. He was funny on the radio. He was too. hilarious. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna think of another one. There was one that. No, no, I know the one you're talking about. Mine didn't have people in it. Who deliberately crashed the German Wings airliner, killing himself in 149? Yeah, that's not oh, cool. Oh, well, that's fucked up. Yeah, that sucks. But that's the, not cool. But our guy is cool. Yeah. <laughs> that's one of the coolest ways to commit suicide. Did you ever see totally. this movie? Here's a wreck for you. Do you ever see the movie Wild Tales? It's an Argentinian movie. It's like mm. a bunch of vignettes. It's awesome. Mm. One of them, I'm going to give away one of them because there's six, but one of them is a bunch of people on a flight. And they all they start chatting with each other, and they're kind of like, "Oh, I know this person too." You're like, how do you yeah, know? I think you've told me this. Before. They all. It turns out they all know the pilot, yeah. and he crashes the plane. Yeah. <laughs> they're all people who have like wronged him in a way. That's great. That's, it's a bunch of weird, fucked up, like that's awesome. dark great premise. stories. It's a great movie. Mm. Wild tale. Yeah, I want to get into. That's I'm, great. I'm gonna a big part of my time off is just like I lo- I'm just gonna just fucking watch a bunch of movies. Yeah, I just want to get in there and do the marathon Your movie, days. Dude. I'm I'm get I love. I love a triple feature. I got a, I got a, I have a projector in my house. It's fucking like a hundred inch screen. It's what? fucking sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I upgraded it. So it's like, I used to be like, you know, I used to have like a shitty one where it's like, you just couldn't watch it if it wasn't pitch black. But now I got one. You have sunny day. And Can you watch games working. on there too? Oh yeah. Ooh. That's pretty big. I, watch, I watch all the games on there. Yeah. UFC yeah. guy? I'm not a big UFC ah, guy. I, was I say. used to be, I used to be when I was younger, but uh, I don't know. Dude, it's just like. Honestly, once you start doing comedy, you only have so money. True. And I'm a hoops guy. You know what I mean? And it's like. Stop and I text hoops every yeah, day. Yeah, no. But my brothers are UFC guys. So whenever I'm yeah. home, I like to, like, I like to. We. In my, Which of your brothers is into it? Huh? Which both of them. Both of them? Yeah, George and Nick. Both of my yeah. brothers are into, uh, they're into, uh, uh, UFC stuff. And so, you know, like when we were teens, the, the, the ritual, because when the UFC was like really starting to, you know, it was like the Chuck Liddell, like yeah, just that, yeah, you know that era. Who was the other guy? He had the, who was the guy he had the rivalry with? Tito Ortiz. The other guy. I'm talking about. He's an older guy. Randy Couture. Randy oh, Couture. Couture, Couture yeah. was sick. He knocked him out. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Couture was fucking awesome. And then obviously, um, you know, uh, Silva was. I mean, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Um, anyway. Uh, we would watch. We would go to the Buffalo Wild Wings in White Marsh, Maryland, and just get there an hour before the pay per view. Just hold down a table right across from really? the TV and just like spend our spend my like you know. I don't remember what the fuck my job was. Your at the paycheck. Time. Yeah, my blo- I worked at Blockbuster for a summer. Oh, uh, me there. too. Really? Yeah, yeah, I love that gig. What they told me that. One of the managers was like, hey, we only pretend to send people to collections. If they take DVDs, we can't really do anything about it. Mm. And when they told me that, I checked out 10, just kept them and quit. <laughs> just like, do you remember the movies? <laughs> one of them was like Platoon. I remember Platoon was one of them. Yeah. That's a good one. Um, there was a bunch of Scorsese because that was the summer I was like, I want to like learn a little bit about movies. you know. So yeah. I, I uh, uh, Cape Fear, the Scorsese Cape oh, Fear. Oh, I, you know, weirdly, like how to lose a guy in ten days, or just one sure. of the, whatever rom com was around. We have a girl over. Yeah. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. You need one. Uh, I don't remember the rest of them though. Platoon, I definitely I watched it for whatever reason. I watched Platoon a lot that summer. Platoon's and cool. Had, it was still in DVD times. It was still yeah. Like, Charlie Sheen is a, that Charlie shit. Sheen's a dream guest on. We might be <laughs> We've talked about it many times. Yeah. The guy's got stories. He's got fucking. We're gonna stories. need more than alcohol. <laughs> 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 He's gonna go all in. We need up some whores in here. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's got a new thing coming out. Really? really? Yeah, with the with the Entourage guy. They're working on oh, something. Oh, wow. Could be, could be cool. Could be good. Two and a half sluts? Could be <laughs> good. What are we talking here? I would two love to see grams. the next thing he does. Yeah, two and a half grams. Charlie grams. Sheen's good, dude. He's a good actor. He's good. That's exactly what we talked about before. You don't have to be a good person to be good at something. No. To have God, a talent. No. You know no, what I mean? Look at it's Braun, like... the fucking Nazi guy. He's a hell, <laughs> yeah, of, a, yeah. hell of a scientist. <laughs> All right, Charlie Sheen. Oh, here we go. Oh, dramedy. I don't like that. Yeah. Dramedy is one of the, honestly, a really Sheen, tough Sheen's genre to pull off. Dramedy. It can be great, though. Ramble it can on. be, but it's tough. If Doug you stick Ellen. the landing. I, need high, I, I was hoping for a much more harder comedy thing, because that's what I think you should do. Where Just is something he? really funny. 
Is he in the photo? Unless they consider Entourage a dramedy. I don't think so. Yeah, it's a pure comedy. All right. Well, good for you, Chuck. Martin, Fa- Martin Sheen. Sheen. Whoa. Whoa. Interesting. Um, All right. John C. McGinley. Oh, Jamie Lee Singler. We got some interesting Mark names. Cuban. Mark Cuban. Didn't he have a HIV uh, Sheen? Yeah. Oh, I believe so. All right. Still cooking. Good for him. <laughs> it's, it's, you can, yeah. That's yeah. easy to get if you're rich. You're fine. Is that what it is? I feel like at this point, HIV is not that. I mean, you don't want to get it, obviously, but it's like you can... It's it's honestly a discussion whether you want herpes or HIV. It <laughs> I is. Think, I think it's like a, really? I think it's like a it's like not a, quite a coin flip, but HIV has become more of a you know yeah one of our good, this, I guess the same thing with herpes as long as you take the pills and shit true you're good yeah Damn. one of our good friends is has herpes and is married and his wife is fine wow Damn. we're all gonna pretend like. We don't know who we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so is everyone listening right now. We will. I think it's funnier not to say it. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that person is Shane Gillis. No, no, no. He's not married. Should, but we, yeah, do, yeah, should yeah. we do bits? Oh, he did one. I did one. Sorry, I did you one. You want to do one? Let's yeah, do one. Yeah, you go. I'm looking. I got, this is an I idea I have about like, wow, I, look this, at that. this is the angle look I have. Thing. You ever you ever do this in a relationship? You ever pop an Adderall and just really listen? That's my angle. <laughs> where you just like really, or it's like it's like Viagra, but for your for your relationship. Where you're, so I think the angle is that's like funny. how that's like the new thing is like listening is the new thing where you're like. Uh, you know, back in the day, you know, it's Viagra, but it's anyone can get a rock hard cock. And you actually feel like special after 45 minutes of like, hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Of actually right. taking in. I like that. I mean, the yeah. premise got me. You heard yeah, something yeah. there. All right, I'll play with that. Really listening. Like, I listen so hard. I listen hard. Yeah. yeah. Something there. Yeah. Interesting. I'm trying to, yeah, go ahead, Mark. Yeah, I'm trying to see do if I more, have any. dude. Fuck it. All right. Is this something? Um, okay. So I'm trying to do this whole thing about. Uh, you know, prostitution, because I have a lot of uh, prostitutes in my neighborhood at night. They come out, and I, I know you're supposed to say sex worker, but I feel like I've given them enough money. I should be able to call them whatever I want, <laughs> and that hits. But my whole point of the joke, that's like a little lead-in. The point of it is sex is weird because we all like having sex. Couples have sex, but it's the only thing that gets sadder when you go pro. Uh, Nothing else is like that. Yeah. Maybe bowling. <laughs> yeah, I got I, bowling. Gets you know, if you got yeah. a friend, he's a great bowler. That's cool. You got a friend, he's a pro bowler. You're like, what's up with this guy? Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, something's yeah. off. I like that. Sat, and then you can have a bunch of examples. Obviously, you get like what's good is just like you know, pro athlete. Obviously. Right. You know, pro. You know, right, comedian. Whatever it is, comedian. Like, that's your yeah. job professionally. But yeah, you're right. Sex worker. Is there anything else? Yeah, either way, you spend, you spend all your time in a mall or something like that. Uh, like, yeah. I don't know. Like, something like getting good at bowling is the only thing. Is getting good at bowling, like you have to work so much. Yeah, it's so much work. Right. That's Whereas, like, true. Being a being a well, sex they don't, worker, they don't look like they do a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. Can you see a pro bowler? <laughs> yeah, they look rough. Yeah, maybe that's the. Uh, I like that. Yeah. It's like, man, I know you have a lot of money, but you look like shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Maybe that's the angle. Like a prostitute. <laughs> yeah. And then something maybe with like getting holes are getting fingered in an alley. Mm. Is that too? Mm. Is that too written? Getting fingered in an alley. Mm. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Some yeah. but gutter. I don't know. We got some you're gutter in, the alley, in there. Alley, alley. Yeah. Three fi- getting fingered in an alley is. But there, that's the bowl. That's the bowl. That's the bowl. Yeah. Fingering in an alley. You know what I mean? You know. But, know. yeah. That's not as... But I see what you're saying, and it, it, it does wrap up nice. You, Two that's, fingers. There's something there. There's something there. It just puts a bow on it. Um, let's see. All right, I'll play with that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you know what? I thought I had a... Uh, okay, here's here's something that I, I can't... I need a little something more to it. I'm All going right. through the old stuff, actually. This is good, because I, I got to a point after I was writing this hour where I was like... For a while, I was like, oh, thank you, buddy. For a while, I was like, I got to do something new every time. And I was really, but then I just got burnt out. I was like, let me just fucking get through this bullshit tour. Yeah. So it's good that I'm like going through this shit. Um, where it was like, I, um, like I stopped, I was, uh, cause I'm trying to, you know, get a handle on my eating. So I, I was, I figured I'd be sober for a while. So that way it's like, you know, you eat better if you're not drunk, you're not high. But now I'm just completely sober getting up and standing in line for a low-grade cheesesteak at 2 a.m., right. which, is, which is, like, so much more morally <laughs> yeah. sustaining. Right. To just be complete stone, completely aware of it, and just in a bodega, like, 
yeah, I'll, I'll take the cheesesteak, please. You know what I mean? And just like, so I don't know. There's just like, there's something well, there, but I'm just like, you're you just know. on a different drug doing the exact same thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just, it's, well, what's worse, knowing you're about to eat a shitty cheesesteak or being drunk and getting a ch- shitty cheesesteak right, right, in, right. a, in a fucked up state? Yeah, yeah, At yeah, least with know? the alcohol, you were blocking this out. Like, exactly. With, with the weed, you, like, that's the problem with drugs that hide in your awareness. Yeah. yeah, that, yeah, yeah. When, when you're making bad decisions yeah, yeah, already. Yeah. Right, You know, right, right. maybe that's like the end where it's Maybe like, that's why on Adderall, you don't eat because you're aware. You're yeah, so yeah, focused yeah, yeah, on yeah, how yeah. fucking mm. horrible that is. Yeah. But when you're drunk, you're like, ah. But now I'm just like, oh, I just really want this. I'm just face to face with the reality that this is what I want. Right, Maybe that's right. the angle where it's like <laughs> I can't I blame it on anything else. Yeah, this is who I, I'm. A guy who gets this fucking cheese. Steak. You should do that for other like other things, like the women you're fucking. Like everything yes. is just you're like no, this is just me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Just yeah, what yeah. I do. I yeah. only fucked a guy when I was drinking. But <laughs> yeah, then, yeah, yeah, when yeah, you're yeah. sober, you're like I really want to fuck a guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> you blame it on the booze, but it's just what you want. Yeah, there's some. I just haven't been able to cry. I just think there is something very funny to that idea of being like, God damn it, this was. That didn't help. You know what I mean? Right. It's like I have to actually look at what the problem is instead of hoping a different whatever. Maybe you know? the angle of the line is like it sucks when you find out alcohol is not the problem. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I'm the yes. problem. You're the problem. It's not the, it's not your drug addictions. It's, it's you. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, it's yeah. going way deeper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like there, that. That's that's a nice angle. That's I like a, that's that. an angle. And you blame the booze, but the booze is actually just an out. Because you can yeah. go, oh, it's because I was drunk. Yeah, but it's yeah, just, yeah. yeah, it's just who you are. You yeah. go back to drinking and you're like, well, at least now I have a scapegoat. You know what I mean? Yeah, some, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's I a mean, scapegoat. But yeah. Okay, this is good. I have a bunch of bullshit that I forgot to well, let's do. Fucking, let's bounce some bits, man. Um, oh, this is, <laughs> I, I wonder if orgies have the same rules as like uh, like road trips where it's like, do little guy do li- do guys with little dicks get to call shotgun? <laughs> they get to go first. You know what I mean? Like, like, like the way a fat gun. guy uh-huh. gets to go first gets shotgun always. Something right. like that. Does a guy with a little ass penis get to get to fuck pussy first? You know, something. <laughs> a little. Something. These are all. And then uh, close to that is anal is little dick reparations. Is what I have written down <laughs> here. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <so hilarious. laughs> I forgot about these. And then. Uh, this one, I think there might be something here, but, I, you know, it's barely. <laughs> Hanging out with your friends in your 30s is just reverting back to childhood, where it's like now their girlfriend is their mom. Where it's Ooh, like, it's like dude, dude, don't that's get so popcorn. Bad. Dude, let's not get popcorn all over the couch. I don't want to get yelled at this, this time. This is great. You know what I mean? Like, this, this is great. Where it's and like, you yeah. want to fuck them both. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're a kid, you're like, oh, your mom's pretty hot. Yeah, 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 and when yeah, you're yeah. in the 30s, you're yeah, like, your yeah, girlfriend's yeah. pretty hot. Well, in your 30s, you have to pretend you don't want to fuck her. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah exactly. <laughs> You're still jerking it yeah, later. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that right. was weird when you were young and you're yeah. just like, dude, I want to fuck your mom. And they're like, dude, come on. They'll find with the hot mom. Dude, yeah. come on. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But that you're right. Yeah. Now, you have, now like, you have to be like, like, oh, yeah, no, she's, she's, she's a pretty woman. I'm yeah. so happy for you, pal. <laughs> yeah. Right. And I've never thought about getting head from her. Uh, <laughs> 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 All right. We might have got some. I think we got some, there, boys. Yeah. That's yeah, something yeah, there for sure. Yeah, the mom, the girlfriend being the mom is a rich premise. Yeah. About her, That's yeah. great. Her, she's scolding you. Yeah, because the loud. only times you ever hang out is what you're doing, the stuff you would do, like when it's just you. Yeah. And, and, and when his girlfriend's away is the same way as when their mom left you Completely. for a sleepover. You're drinking like video more. games, drinking, snacks. Wow. It's yes. literally the exact same, same thing. Night. Yeah, I love it. Is <laughs> you know, as you did when you were, so all right, we got something there. Yeah. The only That's difference good. is your friend goes and fucks yeah. The girl, <laughs> yeah, instead yeah, of uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know just going to bed with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's interesting. That's I, a great, okay. great observation. All right, all right. We got I, some I had boys. one that, that did all right. I think there's something here about uh, gun people who like it's their whole personality. And I, it just bugs me when they act like it's only for emergencies. And then you see their profile picture on Twitter and they're in front of a sunset like this. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, that's not where you, like, you, yeah. my profile pic is not me with an EpiPen. Yeah. Like, hope I never have to use this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, EpiPen like, is great. Yeah, EpiPen yeah. or something, or like maybe Plan B could be funny. Or mm-hmm. like, if I fucking, if I shoot a load, yeah. so help me God, yeah. I'll fucking. You have one of those bandoliers filled with Plan Bs. <laughs> 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 It, it's, it, it's just one of the things where I'm like, this is the first thing I need to know about you. Right, right. 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 That you have guns. Yeah. It's only for emergency. Yeah. No, that's really good. The EpiPen analogy. I had to open know. in Tampa yeah. by going, and believe me, I know where I am. Yeah. Yes. I'm not saying, like, I, I, I get it, yeah. but I'm going to shit on you. Yeah. What else is only for emergencies? 
EpiPen is good. Epi fire pen. extinguisher. Fire, I did. I did. Oh. Fi- I tried fire extinguisher. I said shoot. A, I said spray a whole schoolyard. Yeah. Is what I said. <laughs> so help me God, I'll spray a schoolyard with this. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's good. Something there. Definitely something there. I'll airbags. Like yeah, yeah. Oh, airbags. Airbags. That's good. No, I yeah. promise you don't choose when those come out. You know. Yeah. But that, guns, yeah. man. Um, let's see here. Let's see here. There's gun. The gun stuff is always like it's hard to find gun angles that haven't been. I got a gun when I get to run by you. Please. All right, help me it. with this because this is I think is an ambitious bit. So I need some help here. So I'm not a gun guy. I get people want to have guns, but I don't know if an 18 year old needs a semi automatic weapon. So my compromise is we got to treat it like a wedding. You got to show up to the gun shop with invited friends and family, mm. and when the gun store owner goes. Does anyone have any objections? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is great. To yeah. these two coming yeah. together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And forever now, you know, hold your peace, whatever. And now it's a public thing. So right. one guy can go, I just want to say I grew up with this guy and he tried to fuck my dog or, yeah, or something, yeah, yeah. something ridiculous. Yeah, it's like, really, you should have a gun. You lost at Halo and you threw a chair out your window. <laughs> you <laughs> right. Know I mean? Like something right. like that, you know? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they can speak up because it's weird they can buy this in secrecy. Right. You know, so it should have to be a public thing with the wedding. You know, yeah, there the should at least, at least be a vote. A vote. Yeah, yeah, you at yeah, least yeah, have yeah. to get fifty yeah, percent. Right. At right. the very least. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. then every time that someone does a uh, shooting, we should get to see the results. It was like, look, he eked it out fifty-one forty-nine. Sorry. You know what I mean? Oh like, yeah. Like that's that. good. And, you know, I don't know. That's good. And then I want to do a thing like at the end where I say, uh, you know, a lot of people wait till marriage to have sex. You have to have had sex to get the gun. Yeah. It should be reversed. <laughs> and the girl's got to come in like, I fucked him, I fucked him. That's good. <laughs> That's Smell really his good. trigger finger or whatever, That's you know? Really good. That's really good. That's really good because it's the whole, it kind of ties into like the incel angle to, sco- uh-huh. to shootings. Yes. You know what I mean? That yes. could be, like, let me see that, tr- that trigger finger. <laughs> Okay, that one checks yeah, out. Yeah, Sniff it. Yeah, yeah, Sniff yeah. the trigger finger. It's, just, it's also so funny that like how fucked we are with the gun debate where it's like your your tone at the beginning of the premise was like, now, the, the, your, the controversial thing you want people to give you a second on is that 18-year-olds shouldn't have semi-automatics. I know, right? Like how much gun people have won. They can't get a mic- <laughs> it's right. like We're yeah. not even talking about should they have guns. Yeah. We're talking about should teenagers have semi-automatics. Exactly. That's yeah. fucking insane. Any teenager. They can't you know buy I mean? a Michelob Ultra. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Fucking- yeah, I love people who, anyway, whatever. We don't have to have the gun control the baby. Yeah, we don't have to. No, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. not, we, this is yeah. escapist drinking <laughs> yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. already we, covered we it. Got, you got to try, but can you bring I'm gonna us have a little bit glasses? Glasses? I want. I just want him to try it. Give him a smooch. Get a little Man, it's hot in here. I know, Peters. It's so freaking hot. Fucking I'm sweating. Ball. It's a little hot. You guys want some shot glasses? I don't want to shoot. No, no. Just give him a kiss. Yeah. I want a kiss, too. All right. Let me get the bodega cat, baby. So what's the setup here? You guys did it with uh, with Chris, our friend Christopher. Give me a little bit too. I want yeah. just a, just a a little bit. Mmm, mmm, smelling rich. Oh yeah, That's salud. Good. I'm in. <laughs> Get on this. We're almost out. We need another bottle, Christopher. Send us a fucking bottle, dude. I know, right? Oh, that's good. Isn't that good? I like that, boys. That's a little rye. Yeah. Yeah, it's good stuff. I love it. You got you guys got fucking whiskey deals now. We're, We're trying. trying. <laughs> We're trying. I'm pumped for it. Ooh, man. I had a little ouzo in there. It helped. Absolutely. Went fucking down love, easy. Love whiskey. All right, good bits, boys. Good, good pod. Yeah, great good up, special. Great pod. I mean, Thank obviously, you guys, to know know to watch Stav special. Please You're watch not- the special. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. I also I have the special up there, but I also do a short every day. And uh, I do. That's amazing. Um, you do it every day. I do a short every day, and I do twice a week. I do um, longer video, like longer. Crowd work Twice clips. Twice a week. Twice a week, yeah. Some, wow. Something between, you know, two and a half to five minutes, something like Amazing. that. And then, could you pull that up again? I forgot what my dates are. <laughs> this will come out a I, I'm going to love the Google history after this. It's just ice cream and yeah, cookies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's and me. Then, <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, so I'm doing a little mini. I'm taking most of the year off, but I'm doing a little mini run. I'm doing Phoenix, uh, Pittsburgh, Denver, Richmond, and I'm probably going to add something in December, and I'll probably be doing shows in the city, just working on the hour, just kind of like, you know, getting it, getting it, getting it going, and then. Are you doing Comedy Works downtown? I am. That's nice. Have you been there? I've been there. I did a Sunday. It's amazing. It's great. One of the great best. Club. Love it. Honestly, I like the one. 
I like the one in the Burbs too. It's good too. It's a really good one. Yeah. Yeah. I, the I, theater so been, theater style. It feels kinda, like a theater. Yeah. I opened for Papa there. Oh, a couple nice. Times. Love Papa. And uh, the King. He rules. Love and, Tom uh, Papa. And um, it was just really. Fun. I mean, just great clubs in general. Comedy works any way you yeah. slice it. And so, yeah. Oh, I got that a shirt. That's amazing. I got another new shirt. Fuck. Dude, I, I want the Stavi Greek yogurt one. I'll bring it to you. <laughs> can can you great. get on my Twitter, actually, dude? Because I have a new shirt. I have a shirt with uh, this guy, Bread Press, who does incredible. Oh, uh, really? He does incredible. Yeah, actually, I got to fucking put it. I got to add it to my Got to add it to my website. But if you scroll down just a little bit, I have a new shirt. Oh, they have me fucking blocked. <laughs> um Yes, yeah, celebrate that one. Go to view. Go to view. Celebrate the most hard dick. Yes. So I have a, a sp- I have a t shirt to commemorate the special. Oh, that's Whoa. great. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, great. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's great. It's really dude. fucking good. This guy Bread Press does good stuff. And uh, damn, yeah. So those are limited edition. Go, go get those little fuckers. But yeah, the YouTube channel. I'm really investing in my YouTube a lot. It just feels like. It's the I'll way just the do future. that. The future, and so man. yeah, please follow me there, guys, and please watch the special and. You know, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff, and come out and see me. Thanks, boys. Thanks yeah. for having me. Oh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm, I'm doing a big tour. I'm pumped. A lot of dates just added. Uh, so yeah, West Palm Beach, Buffalo, San this Jose. I Pittsburgh, told you you have to take a fucking week off, uh, Sam. L. A. I told you I was gonna fuck uh, you up. Dania Beach, <laughs> not gonna happen. Louisville, uh, Irvine, <laughs> fucking Omaha. I'm, ca- I'm Phoenix, pick a week. I'm calling in a Lexington. bomb threat to one of these <laughs> wow. so that you have to New stay Brunswick, home. Oklahoma, Springfield, yeah. bomb threat. <laughs> Fort Wayne, Kansas, Tacoma. Fort looking. Wayne, you piece of shit. <laughs> Instead of instead of <laughs> instead of sleeping in your bed, you're going to fucking Fort Wayne, Indiana. I've been there. That Are you out rough. of your fucking mind? That's a rough room. I got heckled there for a month. Is that dude. fucking Thanksgiving? You're going to Fort Wayne on Thanksgiving? <laughs> you des- you know what? You deserve everything. All the back pain. You deserve it, motherfucker. No, they'll give you a turkey sandwich in there. It's just like home. You're sick in the fucking head. You're spending uh, Thanksgiving in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Now you're busy. You, you brought food in. He's like Thanksgiving. You ruined it. Uh, all right, I'm all over the road as Marvin's well. Marvin's about to judge me, but he's taking even less weekends off. I'm you sorry. got that right. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing the Burt Fully Loaded tour. That'll be fun. I got the uh, the Brandon. Oh, sorry. Hold on. City Winery in New York, uh, okay. La Jolla, Irvine Improv. Uh, come out to that. That's a fun room. Yeah, the Vogel in in New Jersey. Uh, Count Basie Theater. I think that's in Connecticut, maybe. No, Wise so. guy, Salt Lake City. Keep going, Love keep it. going. Houston Improv, big room. Help me out oh. there. Lexington. Uh, what else? LOL San Antonio. We got a uh, comedy connection. We got the oh, Wilbur. We got the Neptune. We got Portland. We got Vancouver. We got Toronto. We got the Joy New Orleans. So we got all kinds of stuff. Oh, where are you playing in Vancouver? Some Danforth. Danbury musical or something cool. like that. I don't it might know. be drunkpod.com. Get your merch, get your cool glasses, all that shit. Gotham Studios, we love you. Peters, uh, McCoy, thanks for, for fill, filling in here. Bodega Cat coming very soon. Hell yeah. Uh, we love you guys. Thanks for listening. Yeah. Sunday's the day for my next bender. A bit of fever About the fucking post And I get down in the same way Up on the roof like a cop's coming And naked Samuel is feeling dangerous I'm out to lunch here in New Orleans This woman doesn't look like I remember her